him, baby! Thank you so much. So, today will be special. Hello, Max. Hmm? Thank you Wait, for what? the raid. Oh, thanks. Um, today is special. We're going to be playing Monster Prom. But, there's a catch. Since there's four players that can play it at the same time, chat, you're going to be player four. Oh, yeah. And if you want to see it, I did a little, uh, I did a little testing. And hold on, we're going to do this real fast. So, if you look oh, thanks bunch, over on man. that side, <laughs> I'm going to start a poll. We are, just don't worry what it says. This was a test poll. If you write one or two in chat, you can vote. And it'll count. And that's how we're going to do this entire thing. And that is how we decide for you uh, <laughs> on it what kind of decision chat is going to make for your character. So I would like to finish it and then it'd be like, oh yeah, Oog Oog won. Everybody who voted for Oog Oog is the winner. You guys are the Oog Oog gang. And then we have the Eek Eek gang. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it works. Uh, <laughs> and that's how we're going to play it. It's going to be really, this is going to be so chaotic, but it's going to be so much fun. And I think you guys are going to have a fucking a hoot hoot about it. Uh, also, reminder, Subathon day three. Look at that fucking count. We're almost at 2,000. Get him, baby! Thank you for another five gifted subs. Uh, for those that are curious, uh, the next tier at 1,600. Aw, yeah. oh, man. I love this game so much. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm, I'm excited, too. Who else is playing? Viz him, baby. and Elam. Elam. They're going to be the other two players. But yeah, 1,600, uh, we have the oh, Apex thanks. Legends stream. Uh, 1,700, we have the You Laugh, You Lose sub. Uh, you Laugh, You Sub. Whatever the fuck. Whatever. Um, All hail the cult of Zoe. <laughs> uh, at 1,800, I'm going to be Fantasia until Endwalker, so you guys will get to decide the very last and final Whoa. Fantasia oh, that Voxer bunch, will be <laughs> all the way up to Endwalker. And then oh, oh, thanks a bunch, the last man. two tiers, <laughs> uh, 1,900 is the Roblox Squid Game. And at, and at 2,000 oh, subs, oh, thanks a bunch, man. we have the 24-hour <laughs> Endwalker stream. Um, Whoa, oh, thanks a bunch, man. <laughs> do not let that deceive you. We have seven extra tiers them, baby! that go all the way up to 5,000. Also. As of yesterday, hmm? Wait, we what? have unlocked oh, another emote slot. And in 150, we're unlocking another. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're unlocking a bunch of shit. We're unlocking a bunch of, uh, of emotes. It's not always about the money feed a man. It's about the Mets. <sighs> Have I decided what the new baby. emote will be? Um, about that. <laughs> about that. Uh, we still have 10 open emote slots. Like, full on. Uh, that I didn't fill yet. We just need ideas. I am so idealist because the, I, pe I peaked at Aerospin. 
I fucking peaked. That's uh, <laughs> we're not even gonna we're not even gonna talk. About, I fucking peaked at Aerosmith. <laughs> But we are playing Odds Prom today. Chat will be controlling uh, the fourth player. Um, uh, you guys will uh, be able to uh, choose your gender. I'm going to call you Twitch chat, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, what? Oh, thanks. You will be whatever is left. Um... And then tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a little bit of a change of plans. Uh, if you guys didn't see, tomorrow uh, mm -hmm. they're showing Wait, off the first, oh, what was it, 15 minutes of Elden Ring? Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Uh, oh, and right afterwards... We're going into... <laughs> <laughs> um, and then right afterwards after that Elden Ring trailer uh, I will be revisiting mm -hmm. Wait, my what? very oh, first thanks. MMO that I've ever played whoa oh, thanks a bunch man <laughs> aura kingdom <laughs> Let's just say I uh I opened it up yesterday. And as cringy as it sounds, uh I would imply I, I would implore everyone or like those who are interested to join tomorrow because we are making it hmm? kind of Wait, like what? a documentary. Oh, Lumberjack, thank you so much for the five months. It's good. Um because me and Jin, we're going to be talking over how Aura Kingdom went from a bustling game like Final Fantasy XIV into a game that only has a concurrent player base at its peak of 200 people. Uh, let's just say walking around there is like... Is... Is like walking on a graveyard. And it was it was somewhat it was somewhat insane going back in and just watching it. It is a very melancholy feeling, especially since this is my first uh since my first MMO. But at the same time, I think there's a reason why it's dying. <laughs> and you guys will see why. Um, I guess I have bits to throw at you, XD. Please, uh, don't question my hair. Uh, while I took a shower earlier today, I found out that my hair dryer was broken. Uh, so I had to let my hair naturally dry, and that's not great. <laughs> but yeah. Um, we are almost at 1,600, which is the Apex Legends guaranteed stream. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be playing, uh, the Return to Aura Kingdom tomorrow. Then on the 5th, we're going to play the horror stream. Uh, we, I don't know which game yet. Them, baby! Thanks for the thank gift that subs. Uh, and then we're going straight into the live letter. Um, I don't know what we're doing on the sixth yet. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? I'm gonna have to decide what? on that. Um, but then on <laughs> on the on the seventh, I'm doing the Dark Souls challenge run, and then on the eighth, uh, we're doing the karaoke stream, and you guys get to hear me uh, sound like a dying horse. <laughs> Have you ever played Subnautica? Practically a horror game. Uh, I have no interest in Subnautica. I will, f but I will figure something out. Uh, I feel like it's more survival. Uh, I feel like if you really want the horror, you have to play it for a really long time. But I want to go immediately into uh, 
into the horror aspect of things. But yeah, uh, let me click quickly set up. Hold on. And let me say hello to Ooh, my friend. Wait, what? Uh, oh, ha, hello. Why didn't fucking hello. eek eek win chat? What the fuck? <laughs> I fucking hate Miles Tails Prower. What the fuck? <laughs> you're just, you were looking for a fight, madame. <laughs> what? <laughs> Max, what? I, I you playing Sonic Heroes. <laughs> yeah, I was playing Sonic Heroes today. Max. <laughs> Unprovoked? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be so mean to my boy Tails? Also, what do you guys think I... of Harpy Vero? <laughs> She's so cute. She's so, so adorable. Cute. Hell yeah. Uh, and she would, like, even though she looks so innocent, she would still be the biggest fucking gremlin. She would, yeah. she would, be, she would be on the level of Miranda. <laughs> Damien bark, bark, woof, woof. Of course. Of course, Euler. Of course you would. I mean, same. Yeah, I'm but not of surprised course. when she told me that. <laughs> I am not surprised. <laughs> okay. Okay, I must clarify, Tails is just the first person that I thought of. I just hate that fucking game. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, that's fair. It sucks. How long will you win the casino level for? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Hold on, let me just set up everything so we can do this. Uh, oh. I've never played this game in my life, but I've been roped in by Viz to uh, voice oh, the characters. Oh, Good. A bunch, yep. man. There's a lot of voices. There's Please a lot. Of, there's a lot of voices. Yeah, and even more because we got the DLC. Oh yeah. Are we playing second turn? Um, yeah. Cool. Wait, are we? Uh, because all it does is add two love interests and a bunch more events. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Hello. Uh, let me just make sure that you guys get in first. Well, no, nobody from stream is joining in. Hold on, let me make sure that you guys get in. Yeah. And no one is allowed to join. Okay, I'm gonna write. Yes, I'm no gonna one. write. I'm gonna write the code in. Uh, yep. voice chat. Okay. Chat, we were kidding the whole time. You don't get to play. Ha 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 ha. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm actually surprised you guys haven't played this on stream cool, before. Boy. This is one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy it. Also, Scott Howell is a good boy. Hold on. Whoa. Oh, thanks there we bunch, go. Man. Uh, where should I put my fucking face cam? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Uh, There's yeah. gotta be like an empty place on Miranda the screen. Random best girl. Probably towards the top left. So I think the right hand side is where a lot of information is. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, we can adjust it later. Just do what I do and just like make the whole game smaller and then <laughs> <laughs> and just have a void. Tiny of color. fi. <laughs> Tiny fi yeah, the game. Just have a, Wait, yeah, so just what? have a oh, void nice. of color around it. It's like completely void. Hello, everybody. Aero spin. Just yeah, a little boy. Just a little boy is my Steam name. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Like it's it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Just, Just make the game 10 PXY. I really hope you guys enjoy it as well because it's fantastic. We played one game. I've <laughs> never played this game in my life. I don't even know like what this is about. Who is being a narrator but for this game, by the way? Uh uh we, we play the DLC, yeah? Yeah, it's got lots yeah. of great hentai. Alright, cool. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna play the full game. Also, this is a fucking Shen, lie. Has <laughs> anyone told you that you look absolutely gorgeous today? Two also, hours. Damien yeah, no, and Scott got me not. like bark bark a woo -woo breed me. That's how long the sex scene takes. God, I wish. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bad? No. Just we a little too far, man. Okay, it's it's only two hours. Awuga, awuga. No, no, you know, who wants okay. to volunteer as narrator? Who, who wants to who wants to narrate it? Doing it? <sighs> okay, I guess since I'm I... chicken, dude. I ain't. Okay, <laughs> I ain't doing the narration. I'm eating chicken. 
Right, since I'm streaming, I guess I'll be the narrator. Ah, uh, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. Whoa. Oh, thanks a bunch, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why can you not see the resums? Where's my alert box? Hold on. There we go. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. All right. Sorry, Viz. I'm stealing your boy. <laughs> That's fine. He's a good boy. He deserves to be shared. Uh, custom name. I'm just gonna go with my name. Uh, all right. Okay. Sure, let's go with he. All right. All right, this is chat. This is you. Uh, okay. Hold on. So we got Amira. Uh, Amira. Brian. Hold on. Brian. And Vicky. Okay. All right. Let me start the poll. It. Now you can vote with the chat. Hold on. Hold on. One second. I gotta fix my hair. Hold on. And who's the one with the fire on her head? Amira. That's Amira. I love her. Same. She's so hot. She's so hot. <laughs> She's so hot, dude. And not just because of the fire. I lost last time I played through, I played through as Brian, and like some of the drawings for Brian was so cute. They're all good. I love them all. They are all fantastic. Okay, Vicky is the one that I played, right? The Frank uh -huh. Yes. Okay. All yeah. right, well, Whoa, it seems like we have... A bunch, man. I'm going to give it a minute. <laughs> okay, I think the minute just kind of, like, flipped over. <laughs> so, well... P.L.S. Shen and chat, listen to me. We have to get the guacamole ending, please. <laughs> Guys, this is for Twitch chat. Please just have fun. Please don't go for a specific ending. It's just, just please have fun. <laughs> just pick whatever don't, you think is fun. Don't fight. No, no infighting. All right. Okay, Twitch chat. You're cute. Hold on. Custom name. T Twitch. I don't think you could. Twit. 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 <laughs> Twist. 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 I think you can type. Oh, can I? Yeah, I can so. you? Oh, you yes. can. You can. Twist. All right. Twist. Twitch chat. All right. Wait. Never mind. Oh, we're just gonna. Right. Oh wait, I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm stupid. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's too late. I'm sorry. I should have gone with they them. My bad. All right. I'm sorry, Viz. That's okay. <laughs> I like Brian. I mean, Brian's cute too. I'm sorry, guys. I just I got so excited. I clicked immediately. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, Mr. Brian, I love thee. I can type. I'll stick with you. Yeah. <sighs> and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, mm -hmm. we were all Wait, scrambling what? to catch oh, the attention thanks. of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. Monster prom. Scott Hal, 21. <laughs> a werewolf athlete Wait, who compensated oh, for his thanks. rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Himbo. Himbo. Mm. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Polly Geist, 22. A party ghost with an insati insatiable hunger for all the wrong things, like drugs. <laughs> Damien Leve I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> 21. <laughs> a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Liam the 
Leon Court. <laughs> 4XX. Also known as Orion J. Or, yeah, Orion J of the Monster Prom universe. Uh, a Leon hipster. Has so much issues. <laughs> he was he was so nice to me in the first game we played, and I asked him how, and he fucking denied me. <laughs> <laughs> a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. Zoe for ever. Whoa, oh, thanks a bunch, man. He's so cute. <laughs> An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. Calculester Hulet Packard, version 1.0. A library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. And Vera Oberlin. D this name still catches me off guard. Uh, 23. <laughs> a mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. I want her to step on me. Same. <laughs> yeah, that's a mood. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said... We were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Damn, who's ready? Oh, Welcome yeah. to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. <laughs> All mines are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. We're in a bar. We're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Oh my god. <laughs> Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, TM, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start! Oh dear. I just realized how are we gonna do the turn order thing? We'll try. I would say to keep it easy, we're just gonna do random. Yeah, fair. What would be the coolest prize you could find in your box of cereal? The <laughs> phone number of that sexy tiger on the front of the box. He's so <laughs> passionate about breakfast and health that he's surely also a great lover. Great! <laughs> a sample of more nutritious breakfast option. Uh, so people are encouraged to stop eating that colorful crap. A tiny piece of sharp metal so every scoop will be full of thrill and danger. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that sex was great! <laughs> Hold on. I'm just preparing it for Twitch chat. Gotcha, no worries. Okay. Alright. Uh... Oh god, and you're a box of cereal. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh... More nutritious. Uh, a tiny piece of sharp metal. I mean, isn't Oz like just dark matter? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. Mm, consume. Wait, <laughs> All okay. right, Twitch chat. Let's go. One, Let's go one, one minute. One minute. Oh my god, what is- uh, one and three are kind of fighting! Hmm, I'm surprised- I thought Tony the Tiger would be dominating this a bit more. Yeah, really? Tony the Tiger is <laughs> yeah. undefeated. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know a lot of people want, want Tony the Tiger to dominate them like he's currently dominating this poll, so... Uh, there was a reason that Twitter account had to block a lot of accounts. <laughs> Max. <laughs> What? Max. <laughs> what? <laughs> Max. You know it's true. Okay. All right. And number one. I'm very glad that I can see your face now when I tell these awful jokes. All right. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go for the lame option. Fuck you, I'm going after the sexy tiger. That sexy tiger! <laughs> <laughs> Which is the coolest mythological creature? A sphinx, who's super turned up and ready to party, and she wraps all her riddles. She still kills you if you don't answer them correctly, but she wraps the riddles! The invisible hand of the free market. 
This weird creature I drew when I was six and which is clearly super derivative from other mythological creatures. But it's super cool and it's my OC and my spirit animal, okay? <laughs> the simple hand of the Whoa. free market. Oh, thanks a bunch, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I, I love the I love the image of the Sphinx in the top left. Oh shit. It's Eminem. I don't know, I really like the turned up Sphinx. Yeah, same. <laughs> I don't love the turned up Sphinx image at the top left. Oh wait, yeah, you can still see it. Okay. I don't know, these are all such good options. I really like the last one. Go with the last yeah, the one. last one is good as All well. All right, Twitch chat, get ready to vote. Wow, let's go. All right, the number three is dominating. Mm. Damn, already. Can we talk about how good the soundtrack is for this game, though? Yeah, fits really well. Mm. Twitch chat, you're getting a personality. <laughs> All oh right. The oh. hive mind of Twitch chat is growing into one form. Twitch plays Monster Prom. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fun to include Twitch chat into this. <laughs> Do you want to know what would be really funny? If at the end none of us got a date but Twitch chat. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> I try. That would be pretty I fucking try. funny. All right. And we are done. All right. Huh. Three it is. Alright, I'm going with the invisible hand free market. <laughs> I, I want my OC. <laughs> <laughs> what would be a killer accessory? Sunglasses. Oh at god. Night. Sailor Moon's oh. magical wand. Shiny armor. Logitech G6560. The best <laughs> RGB gaming speakers. A necklace with your own name, in case you forget. A fabulous purse made from the skin of your worst enemy. That would be the accessory of a killer, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a purse. Okay. Alright. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, I mean, I wonder you which one you I fucking get a mm -hmm. I wonder <laughs> which one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really difficult decision for Shen here. Oh my god. Yeah, Milky? <laughs> Ooh, now we have some more derivative votes. Ooh. Yeah. Finally. It's hard to see. Finally, some fucking, some, something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I love democracy. <laughs> and I love the Republic of Twitch <laughs> chat. The hive mind that is Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get your act together, Twitch chat. You're supposed to be thinking on the same page. Oh, they're going for the Sailor Moon. All right. And... Sailor Moon is the winner. <laughs> Y'all are weebs. <laughs> there we go. Hmm? Um, what? Oh, thanks. You know, I'm just gonna go. Hi, Shen. Hope the Subaton and the Prom is going good to love you. Oh, you're cool and blind. And blind. <clears throat> oh, God. If you were a D&D character, what would be your class? The prettiest one. Gun haver. Money maker. Obscure moment grammar. Fanfic bard and party smith. Fanfic <laughs> bard. That's genius, I actually. I think I know which one Twitch chat is going for. <laughs> That's genius, actually. The fanfic bar. I want to play a bar that does fanfiction now. Oh, God. Yeah. Wait, do you have to sing the fanfiction? No, you just have to, like, write it, like, on the spot. You just write it on the spot to, like, give you <laughs> allies bardic inspiration. You just write about them, like, doing something really cool. All right, start. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everyone wants <laughs> either <laughs> or bar. <laughs> Don't give Twitch chat a gun, please. I think it's too late, Viz. No one, no, don't give them a they're, gun. They're gonna, they're gonna get the gun, Viz. <laughs> they're gonna have the gun. 
Twitch chat is too powerful. You can't stop them. They're gonna have the gun. Oh shit! We met the next incentive! <laughs> didn't even oh, we did! <laughs> Lol. 1600 Apex Legends stream, let's go! <laughs> Milky. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! We have four. Oh, almost four, 420 votes. Almost 420. Come on, guys. Oh. Come on, wake up. We need to get to 420 votes. Come on. Come on. 411? 4, 4, uh, uh, uh. Oh, no, we went over! <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, but yeah, we're going. You guys are going gun haver. <laughs> Damn. All right, we go. We're going with uh, Obscure Moment Grandma. I want all the money. Wow. What is, what is a moment grammar? <laughs> moment grammar. Instagrammer. Instagram. Oh, is it like it's their version instant, of Instagram? Instant, okay. Instagram. Okay, instant, let's see. Yeah, instant moment. Instant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Please give us fanfic bar than Birdhaven D uh, and I, D oh, session arrow spin. Hmm, what do I need? I I have no fun. I'm not at all fun. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at the point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. <laughs> hello for the hello for the husband. The first thing you do when you go to school is just <laughs> go to a rave. Yep. Exactly. Instantly. What, hell you're yeah. expected to go to school to learn? That is, like, pretty much what Freshers' Week is like, to be honest. You're enjoying the sound of no ear-splitting shrieks filling the air, when suddenly, an ear-splitting shriek fills the air. Disgusting! Alright, who's who? Who wants to do- Who wants to do- Who wants to do Miranda? Am I gonna have to do it? <laughs> What's the highest pitch voice you can do? I don't know, but are we gonna find out? <laughs> you, wanna, you, wanna <laughs> you wanna try? I can do, like, all right, all right, fine. We're doing this. So, what is this abominable, <laughs> <laughs> abominable nonsense? How dare you so much as think such filth, so? much less right? <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna. I'm committing to this. Much less right. It much less put it on the internet. Max, would you like to? Miranda, I honestly have no idea what you're so upset about. I'm simply expressing myself through the noble art of fan fiction. <laughs> but, but you about me, a noble and beautiful mer princess in a forbidden God. romance with Nash Omhon, the son of Prince Prime Minister of Ara Kingdom? <laughs> it's Ara the Air Kingdom. It's Ara Ara King, Air the Air Kingdom. The Air Kingdom. The Air Kingdom. I'm trying so hard. I am the Prime Minister of Ara Kingdom. <laughs> I am the Prime Minister. Of Ara <laughs> 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 just the last guy left on the fucking server. <laughs> the Prime Minister, though. I would never. It's Zoe. I, it's Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> I would it's okay. never date anyone from some socialist nightmare scape with a prime minister. <laughs> but this has nothing to do with you. It's not said at spooky high, it's said at creepy high, and the Mer Princess is named Marmanda. <laughs> Van <laughs> Vanderbilt. That sounds nothing like Miranda Va Vanderbilt. They barely even end with the same four letters. <laughs> Duh. It's totally not the same. Don't you know that the last four letters are the what? most magical oh, and important letters of all Mermaconic... Oh my god. <laughs> Mer Mermaconic culture. <laughs> you're, you're trying, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> Why? I should have this dr drivel ripped it into shred with a... I can't do this. Can someone else it's take fine. this character okay. from me? Okay, okay. I can just like argue with myself. I can no, 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 it's fine. I, I can, can do it. it. Oh wait, okay, Viz, you go, you go. <clears throat> Why, I should have this drivel ripped into shreds with a libel knife, the cutlery used by the most scathing reviewers. Oh my god. Thank you, Biz. <laughs> See, Miranda, you're nothing like Marmanda. She totally would have gone with the slander spoon. 
I simply cannot stand by while my friend, classmate, and inferior publishes such <laughs> air people oh. sympathizer nonsense. <laughs> oh dear, this could get ugly. Ever than it already is. Holy Better shit. step in and help Lady out. Which lady, though, is up to you? All right, Shen. Okay, Jesus leave Zoe Christ. alone, Miranda. Don't you see she's done you a huge favor by exposing the treachery of Miranda Vanderbunt? You need to go to storm Miranda, not Zoe. <laughs> Miranda's right, Zoe. A better writer wouldn't even need to put something as disgusting as the air people into a fan fiction. It's just a cheap trick for shock mail. It looks self censor and like self censor. Let's be real. Imprint probably existed. Like, hey, the do you want to be? Do you want to be racist? <laughs> Alright, what are you picking, Dishon? <laughs> I really want to go with this option. <laughs> you just want to. You just want to say self sester and pray. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Does the enemy oh, heart, mean monster or man? <laughs> or for the lulz. <laughs> Go All for right. It. Go for it. Shen is right, Miranda. Haven't you ever heard the phrase, don't shoot the messenger? Oh, certainly, yes. Loads of times. It's what all of Daddy's messengers say, right before he shoots them. <laughs> wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> but of course, Zoe is merely a classmate and subject acting in this case as a messenger. Scrub it. Thanks for the 20 gifted subs. Go on. So killing her would be inappropriate. And not covered by Daddy's insurance. So tell me more about this devious Marmanda person and her relationship with Nash O'Mahon. <laughs> Well, as you can imagine, their love is inherently tragic and beautiful, since they come from the Mur and Air Kingdoms, respectively. I'd describe it as a typical star-crossed lover story, with a large portion of hurt comfort tropes, since it is set during the Mur Air War. Yes, yes, and where might I find this Marmanda? So that I may execute- I mean, bring her to justice! Mm -hmm. Oh, all the usual places. <laughs> FinalFantasy.net, AO4. <laughs> I mean, she's definitely real and probably hiding from you somewhere far, far away, like a desert. Anywhere, anywhere where you won't interrupt my fic writing. Spoiler alert, you rock. Thanks for that, Shen. Marmanda Vanderbunt may be an extremely thinly veiled stand-in for Miranda, but she's my extremely thinly veiled stand-in for Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to continue her romantic adventures, and I hope you'll join me for romantic adventures. Haha. <laughs> By join her, Zoe means uh, read her fic, which you realize oh, when don't. she sends you a link in her mind. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your flavor text are looking at me. She loves with you. Too creative, you have one charm. Hell yeah! Nice. All, All right, right chat. Okay. Okay. Where? Okay. Where to go? Uh. So we have the auditorium. We have class. We have library, gym, and the bathrooms. Okay. So here, just before we start the poll, here is your stats over here, chat. These are all the things that you can gain. Uh, make make your choice. Uh, all the way on the left is creative. Top is uh, s money. <laughs> money, money. That's uh, money. Yeah. Then middle is smarts. Uh, bottom is charm, and on the left, on the, all the way on the right is boldness. So this Outdoors is your. Is fun. This is your. You you, you guys fun. need fucking boldness. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus Christ! You guys, you guys are pussies. <laughs> You guys All are right. bottoms. Here That's we go. <laughs> Here we go. Poll starts in three, two, one, go. There we go. Choose your pick, gamers. 
since there's eight, since there's eight love interests, should we do two each? Hmm. So it's no, like it's high like school. Up. It's a battlefield. What do you mean two each? What do you mean two each? Like two voice acting each. Uh, oh, I was like, what the uh, fuck did you mean by two each? <laughs> like those characters. I mean, Shen's also Unless... doing the, the narration as well, so... I mean, I can mm. still, still do... also like the voice. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll fucking... Hell I can yeah. do the voice. I, 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 yeah. I can take an extra one if we need. Well... I don't care. I mean, I'm just reading normally. I also want to do voices. Voices is... Doing voices is fun. All right, yeah, well, fun. we have an overwhelming winner. I don't think we need to make the poll go any longer. Man, you guys... chat, y'all want to pee so badly? You guys want to pee Halo theme with so the boys. <laughs> Halo <laughs> That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom is because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. I run hey. the toilet. You're living your spookiest life when you hear the giggling of an eldritch cutie pie met by the snorting of an angry oh. prince of hell. I'm not oh, saying chat. that's definitely how you lost your horn. I'm just saying that's one of my headcanons for it. Headcanons! Mm -hmm. All right. Viz, you voiced him last time. Do you want me to do it this time? Uh, I don't mind either way. I can, can voice him again. <clears throat> headcanon! <laughs> Yeah, how I imagine you lost it in my mind when I think of all the cool adventures everyone at Spooky High must have gone on before I joined you all as a regular girl. Regular girls don't come up and ask me if I nobly sacrificed my horn for the coven <laughs> because I'm secretly horny for hope! <laughs> okay, but I also have a Spooky High Seas AU where the whole school is a pirate ship and you lost your horn to a bad case of scurvy. I love this character. I love her too. What? That... Fuck scurvy! If I was a pirate, if I was a pirate, I'd only get the coolest, most dangerous diseases. <laughs> like crabs. I also <laughs> run a human eye at you. Well, you're not missing your horn at all. You're missing a wang. <laughs> oh. I was a horn analog for a wang. Also, don't answer that. <laughs> Stop making up cannons about my head! The only cannons I like are the ones with two ends! <laughs> I'll happily stop making up head cannons if you tell me the real story. Cannon. <laughs> no, but the cannon has three ends! Hey, we never said that Damien was smart. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah. We never said he you're, was smart. You're right, but you know what he means. So, like, the canon. <laughs> like, the the canon of the game. <laughs> I think I'm going insane. Yep. I think we all are. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't like any of these options. I don't either. I'm being bullied. I have a head cannon. Oh, my God. You could just tell Zoe that Damien lopped off one of his horns to piss off his dads. You feel like you heard that somewhere. But friends don't tell friends their other friends' horny secrets. <laughs> this looks like a job for lying! And maybe, <laughs> just maybe, you can use your answer to impress one or the other of your very attractive classmates. Alright. Uh, we have... Hold on, let me read this out. Uh, as we all know, <laughs> demon horns are powerful of Afro aphrodisiac. <laughs> aphrodisiac. It's not hard to imagine how Damien lost his wink. <laughs> Who gives a fuck how Damien lost his horn? You should see what the other guy lost. It was most things. Yeah, Dam Damien has two dads. Gay dads. Yes, gay dads. Okay, which option? So the first one is... Uh, it's not... Hard <laughs> and <laughs> who gives a fuck? Okay, here we go. And which option, guys? Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, chat oh. split. Chat split. Oh, chat's actually pretty, pretty split. Pretty, pretty split you... on this option. Oh, you oh. want to go for the otaku or you want to go for the horny boy, the angry boy. 
Hangry. Oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh. Jesus! This is actually oh. so close. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh! Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh! 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 The boss were to come back. Is, is David gonna come back? And three, two, one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> It was off by one vote! <laughs> by 0.1%. Holy shit! <laughs> you didn't have enough boldness! You didn't have enough Whoa. boldness, chat! Good job. <laughs> Other guy! Other guy! Hold on. Oh no, chat! You saying I like dudes? <laughs> oh, chat. Oh. Oh, dear. What, so only men can start fist fights and disfigure Hell's minions now? What is this, the 1950s? <laughs> I'll have you know that 100% of my best fist fights, knife fights, knife fights, and monster truck rallies have been with women! <laughs> because I love women! <laughs> yeah, Twitch chat, it's the 21st century. Girls can do anything, even demon poaching. <laughs> You tried to explain it, you never meant girls couldn't be murderers and uh, poacher, po poachers, but no one- Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, we're sexist now? <laughs> but no Great one seems job, to chat. care. You're sexist now. Ever heard of Lizzie Gorgon, who murdered everyone with an axe? Made out of snakes? She was a girl. Ever heard of Vera, who is also a Gorgon and mur murders people and also is a girl? <laughs> I have an entire Spooky High AU called Spookhead High where everyone is a girl and they still murder people all the time. Whoa! That's crazy. Whoa! Spookhead High? That sounds dope! Tell me all about girl Damien. <laughs> Hard pass. Totally, but only after Twitch chat leaves. I have a policy of never discussing my fanfic in front of misogynists. <laughs> I mean, Damn. this is this is pretty. This is pretty hard hitting. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> you lose charm once when she misogynist. <laughs> you lose minus two charm and minus one smarts. You misogynist. See, girls can also take your stats. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think the narrator was a girl? More misogyny. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not a girl, but I could have been. All right, okay, right so for here. those of you who are playing this for the first time, Holy shit. your answers during, you know, when you pick a class, they're dependent on your stats. Mm -hmm. You have to pick the answer with the highest stat. <laughs> that uses right, the highest stat, but it can be difficult. That day, she's so hot. <laughs> I mean, she's made of fire. <laughs> yeah. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. Nice! You notice Miranda trying to put a smile on Liam's face. This should be good. I simply do not understand how you can be so gloomy all the time when the world is so full of wonder and magic. Alright, who's Liam? You wanna do it again, Eleanor? Are you scared? Uh, are, you, are you okay with me potentially mispronouncing ter difficult or words would like, for me? Or would Pillar would like to? I, pick I'm up? more than happy to. If you like, I, I can cover for you for the pompous vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go oh, ahead. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's go. I guess I'm just not part of the Everything is Beautiful Club. <laughs> the Everything is Beautiful Club? Is that... A secret club? What? Sounds so perfect. I, uh, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I want to join. I want to join. Oh, how can I join? 
Liam seems totally sexually disinterested in continuing this gag, but you have no such reservations. You tell her. Get him, baby! You just got 21 gift subs from LOO. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's a lot of gift subs. You're in luck. I just happen to have the m membership paperwork right here. Magic is real. And, oh, it's super easy to join. All you have to do is eat a bunch of cotton candy and crap out a unicorn. Simpleton. <laughs> Jesus mm. Christ. I feel like I don't have the stats for either of these answers. No, but the thing is, it's it goes by your highest stat. The correct answer goes by your highest. So you have to figure oh. out which one's your highest. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're going with this one. Ooh. Nice! You and you hand Miranda some membership forms you whipped up in Picture Chop. Well, like right now? Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, it fits pulled, for me. pulled out a laptop and just. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're totally fake, but she's loving it. Miranda fills out the forms, then skips off to mail them to 1234 Fairy Dust Lane. Aren't you worried about what will happen when she finds out you made this whole thing up? You are, kind of. But when you run into Miranda later that week, she's super excited. <laughs> it worked! The Everything is Beautiful Club accepted my application. <laughs> they said I'm the first applicant they've had in centuries. <laughs> what? Recruiting is hard when you're a, when you're a super secret club. <laughs> they even gave me fun <laughs> glittery stickers to put over ugly things to make them beautiful. But I haven't seen any of them. You know why? How majestic. Because... Everything is beautiful. <laughs> Miranda lets you borrow some of her stickers. You're pretty sure you can find some ugly people to stick them to. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Um, sure. Oh shit, here we go. Uh, oh shit, that? this time. This time. Uh, mm. oh, damn. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Uh, sure. Let's get some money. That day, you spent some time on a library's PC managing your start kicker. Oh my god. You deceived lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. <laughs> you gain plus 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and you keep only two money. Hit. <laughs> two money, though. Later that day, you're out shopping with Vera and Polly when a wild cockatrice appears. Cockatrice? It gallops through the mall, biting shoppers with a jagged beak and turning them to stone. Scott and Damien come chasing after it, holding a butterfly net and a frilly dress. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> okay, I'm going to do. <laughs> Wait, oh, actually, Ellen, Ellen do you, do you want to do you want to do himbo? <laughs> All right, sure. Uh, how hard am I going to lean into this? All right, we're going to find out. This isn't our fault. We had nothing to do with this. Max, would you like to be a sexy lady? Uh, another <laughs> mythical creature crisis, just when I'm starting to enjoy my shopping. Should I do her again? Yes. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You do a good, <laughs> like, you do a good one. Ah, uh, but it's so cute. I bet that vicious chicken dragon really knows how to party. <laughs> Scott and Damien see everyone looking at them and wisely hide inside a clothing rack. What are you <laughs> going to do about this creature? Ah! Ignore what are it! My choices? Ignore <laughs> it! We're friend it with a delicious cinnamon! <laughs> you tried to ignore the slaughter going on in the mall around <laughs> Do you say cinnamon? Cin cin cinnamon? Cinnabon. Got yeah. it, yeah, so yeah. weird. Cinnabon, yeah. But the screaming is so loud you can't focus on your shopping. Ugh, are you still looking at that monster over there? I thought you were cool. What, have you never seen a massacre before? I'm dead. Mediocre. Look, if you love that abomination so much, why don't you marry it? Oh my god. Wait. <laughs> my god. You would, but the backwards laws of your country don't allow cockatrice <laughs> marriage. You lose minus two fun and minus one charm. All right, let's no. randomize it because Pause. Twitch chat can't answer. 
Or Sounds we like would... I wish I could do like a perfect like Megara from Hades voice for this well, character. Or we would like have a fit. problem. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm first now, huh? Nice. Yeah. Twitch chat a second. Again, like always. Hug. Um, sure. All right, Viz. Um. The shop? Oh, Twitch chat After is going to have to choose a, a table Miranda, to go to. Miranda and Scott. Vera and Damien. Polly and Zoe. Oh boy. Mm. Can I can I call dibs on voice in the robot? Sure. Okay. Uh, you find Damien and Vera contemplating a huge slab on unidentifiable prime meat. <laughs> All right, Damien. I know we had our share of disagreements during the convoluted poaching expedition. <laughs> Like when you told me not to bring all my knives. <laughs> but I trust we can now put our differences behind us and enjoy the fruits of our labors. You mean the meats of our labors? Yes. Together we will enjoy this raw, bloody cut of meat as a symbol of our... Wait, raw and bloody? You mean you're not going to even to try using fire in it? Of course I used fire. I specifically instructed the chef to prepare this meat while glancing briefly at a lit stove. Did the fire ever, you know, touch the meat? What would be the point of that? A cut this fine can only be eaten ultra rare. Like hell it can! You wait here while I get my culinary flamethrower! <laughs> Damien, please, let's be reasonable about this. What is reasonable? If we can't come to an agreement, let's appeal to the arbitrary third party. Viz will surely make the intelligent choice for us. Isn't that right? Oh my, boy. My word, the steak is too cooked already. Rub some ice on it and douse it in blood quickly. The only correct way to enjoy steak is after its charred remains have been retrieved from a burning building. All right, do I go for Vera or do I cock chat? Oh, I just noticed your fun stat. Oh my yeah, god, you're that. so... <laughs> you have... You are not fun at all, Viz. Oh, thanks yeah. a bunch, Listen, man. I sleep in class. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, chat. I'll, I'll throw you a bone. <laughs> Max? Quite right, quite right. Someone turn off the heat. Get a frost wizard in here. Fetch me more blood from the blood bank. What the fuck? I'm not gonna <laughs> eat a big chunk of raw meat. How am I supposed to ensure maximum suffering without fire? <laughs> oh darn. Guess I'm gonna have to enjoy this whole juicy steak by myself. Whatever. I'm gonna go burn down a burger joint and eat whatever survives the fire. <laughs> Good for you, Damien. Live your best life. <laughs> Vera slips you a thick stack of cash on the table. Unfortunately, she pays you in Vera bucks. <laughs> oh, I'm selling my own board game. More, for <laughs> More fortunately, you're still. <laughs> start kicker. You can back it now. This one! More fortunately, your stack of Vera bucks is redeemable for four and a half minutes of intimate eye contact. Juicy. Mm -hmm. I get petrified and die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Twitch chat. Right, Twitch you chat. have another statue top left, my collection. middle, bottom left, and bottom right. Here you go. For context, bottom left is a shop. You guys are so awful. You're taking you're taking <laughs> my fan fiction away from me. <laughs> Listen, they were discussing about, and they all planned already. as a hive mind to go for the fan fiction. That's Not with those numbers. stats, you are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she already thinks you're a misogynist, so... Yeah, yeah what the yeah. fuck, cat? Yeah, I don't know how well it's gonna go for you. How how are you gonna mend this, you misogynist? <laughs> I don't think you come back from that at all, to be honest. Yeah, but... honestly. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's just it. <laughs> I think you're just done for, chat. Yeah, chat. You fucking misogynist. We can change her? Ooh. <laughs> <Okay>. Ooh. <laughs> You're so. the one who needs change in here, chat. Mm. <laughs> all right. Not a, not a fan of that one. Again. Okay, three, two, one. All right, chat. You're going down, uh, down here. 
Found <laughs> <laughs> it. All right, you watch Zoe watching Polly with increasing intensity. Hey, Polly, I have a question. I may or may not have an answer, depending on if it's boring or not. Do you remember what my voice sounded like? <laughs> well, oh. you know how you don't eat food? Yeah, duh. I'm a ghost. I would just go right through me. I can't digest it or absorb the nutrients or anything. Right. But you drink alcohol and do drugs all of the time. Awesome. Yeah, and it's awesome! But... but why can you absorb illicit substances and have them affect you, but you can't eat food? It's like, sometimes you're totally corporeal, and then sometimes you're incorporeal, and it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, and it's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but... But, I'm awesome? <laughs> it is an interesting question Zoe raises. Maybe you should look at this more closely. Hey, Zoe, let's do some science. We can throw things at Polly and see what goes through her and what doesn't. Allow me to explain Polly's situation quite simply. Texture, solidity, density, heaviness, all synonyms for consistency. So if Polly doesn't have any of that, she'd naturally be inconsistent in her ghost power. <laughs> Hold Jesus on. Christ. All right, which... How much can... How much can bullshit? <laughs> which option? Uh... Science. Wow, and... now you want to assault a woman? Misogynist. Explain. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Let's science and explain. All right, here we go. And here we go, chat. Ooh, everybody wants to Ooh. do so. Oh, now you're going to throw shit at? Oh my god, chat. You're so oh. mean! Fucking misogynist. Why do you hate women? It's Twitch chat. Of course Twitch chat hates women. Yeah. <laughs> we we hate women. Maybe, 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 they're going, maybe they're going for the long throw here. They're going to wait until it's the last week and then turn all the way around and go straight for Damien. <laughs> <laughs> the turnaround. <laughs> You're yeah, right. I'm a misogynist because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, chat's a woman, so they're a misogynist because they're straight. <laughs> The cafeteria ones? They're not okay. staff dependent, I don't think. All right. They're just there to raise hearts. Chat goes with the, the, the science option. All right. Here we go. We have force femmed Twitch chat. Oh, yeah. That's a great idea. Wait, why am I up for this? What? No, it's not. Throwing a fork in three, two... Cut that out! Oh man, it went right through her! Let's try a spoon. Uh, let's not try a spoon. That's so weird! It bounced off her like she's totally corporeal! I guess the lesson we've learned here is that ghost logic is no logic at all. That's why it rhymes. What? What? <laughs> ghost and no don't rhyme. Mm -hmm. Of course not, but there's no logic here. Watch out, I'm throwing a plate at you! <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, Arsene. You and Zoe have a great time throwing things at Polly and watching there be no logic in this game. The game, of course, being throw things at Polly. You're Wait. so mean. Alright, All right. All right, Shen, let's go. You guys took my... So I'm gonna go up here. You know the old joke, a robot and a vampire sit down at a cafeteria table to not eat. Alright, yo, go. Huh? Your friend Liam! So, am I going for this, or do you... Yes! Do you watch yes. yes, you're going for it. You already taped it. Alright. Friend Liam, you seem quite focused. Thus, I apologize for interrupting. Okay. What? <laughs> what? There you what? go. But I cannot help noticing that you are frequently absorbed in your technology to the exclusion of all else. My mate can't pick this up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> As a piece of technology myself, I must admit to being the synthetic equivalent of flattered. So <laughs> <Not> verbose. <laughs> Pillar. <laughs> Pillar, you gotta do it really loudly, right into the microphone. <laughs> 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 Come on, just wrap your mouth around the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but something does not compute. I spend my days and nights longing for organic connection. Mm. Trying and failing to artificially generate the sensation of being loved. But you, with the entire organic population of this high school at your fingertips, choose to instead use those finger fingertips to stimulate your smartphone device. Fucking <laughs> fingering his phone. Oh my god. It intensifies my loneliness to, <laughs> to watch. Liam, you cock! Lean into that feeling. Loneliness is the third coolest emotion, right behind Sundere and none. <laughs> I do not wish to lean into that feeling, Liam. I wish for you to lean out of it. You don't know what you're asking, Cal. You don't know what do you're you asking, Do you know Jeff? how many photos are shared on Momentgram alone every hour? 3,958,300... 33.333 repeating. Omega, count how many sanders there are in this disc. It was supposed One, to be a rhetorical two, question, three. but you've only strengthened my point, which is this. What if, while I was away from my phone seeking organic connection, one of those momentogram posts were to be bad? Who would post a devastatingly condescending emoji? Who would ironically share it along with a gif of Marcel Duchamp languidly smoking a cigarette? Who, I ask you, who? The internet is defenseless without me. I cannot miss a moment. The point. This is unhealthy and bad, and you should not do it anymore. <laughs> Wow, things are getting pretty heated at this cafeteria table. You better resolve this dispute one way or the other before your ice cream melts. Leave Liam alone, Calculester. Not everyone has a super potent microprocessor for a brain so that they can receive internet updates while interacting with people. Check your robo privilege. Oh my god! <laughs> my Shit. fucking god. Calculus is right, Liam. How about instead of burying your pink tinged nose in your phone, you get updates via puppet show calculus and I will now perform for you? I'm gonna do that one. Uh, 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 oh no! Uh, uh, puppet show? He's broken! Uh oh. I would be grateful for the opportunity to engage in your organic life form customs of pretending. It, to imitate objects as Inanimate I, objects. Inanimate, sorry. As I once was, have thoughts and feelings and opinions as now as I do now. Of course, a robot doing a puppet show. It's so meta! <laughs> All that I do is metal, for metal is what I am made of. <laughs> Incorrect auditory input. <laughs> Apologize, I realize that you said meta. The puppet show will be meta, friend Liam. We will make it all that you want and more. As so you do, Calculus uses the internet in his mind to get all the information Liam would have gotten from various platforms, which you and Calculus then translate for puppetry in a style of Bunraku. Why young cool it? Guignol, marionettes, and Julie Taymor. Liam was finally off his phone, and you and Calculus had a wonderful and artistic bonding experience. Let's do this! Nice! 
Nice. Hmm. Uh, Damn, you have seven money. Yeah, I do actually have a lot of money. Hey, stranger. All right. Ooh, event uh. items. Hmm. My creativity is okay. Do I risk it? Do you? Do you? Yes. No refunds. Oh boy. There you go. Oh. Oh! Oh my God! Oh. You're so smart. Holy shit, you're fucking smart, but you have zero creativity. Lol. All cool kids want to be friends with Satan. What are you gonna do with all those smarts? <laughs> okay, here we go, random again. <laughs> Twitch chat. Twitch chat, why are you always second? A bunch, man. Do I try and raise my creativity again? <laughs> That's up to you. Uh, it's Colossus. Is it Colossus creativity? Colossus smarts. Colossus smarts. Oh, so it's auditorium. Right. Yeah, the drama class. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have the set have the senate to give you figurative oral sex. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. Nice. My only two creativity. You feel the ratio of cheesiness in the surroundings growing, and that can only mean... Very, very extraordinary. Who the fuck are you? What I am I looking at? Side characters. <gasps> that is the... That is the, the, the growth coming out of the body's head. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Can who I? Who wants to do this in uvu voice? Go on. Who is the what? best and most perfect, perfect uh, schmooky wooky pie in the whole world? My schmoopsie whoopsie poopsie. <laughs> uh, is there anything in the world that can that makes one more articulate and well-spoken than the throes of true love? Running internal search found 9,969 results, nice. starting nice. with <laughs> a graduate nice. degree in classic literature. Violet, Tate, your relationship is so perfect. You're always, always together. Well, they are literally stuck together. <laughs> and that's the kind of unyielding codependence that I demand from a future multi-hyphenate lover servant surf. Error found unreasonable expectations. How did you know when you found the one? We're made of love. <clears throat> Hold on. Who was that voice? The worm. Wait, what? No. Who was the voice the, actor? Voice who was the voice actor for the robot? Robot? I'm like 90% sure it's Jacksepticeye. Yeah, it's Jacksepticeye for a robot. Yeah. It's Jack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm impressed you picked that up. <laughs> I, I couldn't nice. hear it immediately. I was like, because I watched a video from him earlier and I heard that was like, who's the voice <laughs> Uh, I didn't know. No, I didn't. I, this is the first time I heard anything about Monster Prom. Like, I have I played it for the first time yesterday. People have only asked me to play. I didn't know anything about Monster Prom. Damien LeVay is Nate Wants to Battle. Liam Delicor is oh. Octopim. Okay. Um, Miranda's Christine Marie Cabanos. Oh, wow. There's a lot of... Scott is Aaron Hansen. Uh, okay. Vera is Christina Valenzuela. Okay. Mm hmm Zoe is Casey Mongo Mongillo. Jesus, uh -huh. a lot. Hold on, I am looking. And the playable characters, like, Oz is Octo. Okay. Amir is Danielle McGray. Okay. Brian is Pro ZD. And mm -hmm. Vicky is Sarah Williams. <laughs> okay, alright. 
And this <laughs> game is produced by Jesse Cox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Away you know, when you know you know. <laughs> Error. Oh my god, it is Jack! <laughs> Error. Is that tautologically? Top of the morning, ladies and gentlemen, my name is <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe it's tautological. Oh, oh the tautological explanation. Input insufficient to extrapo extrapolate useful data. And having realized they have no actual useful input, the couple exits to, to do more coupley things. Oh, okay. But, oh, you know how to tell who's the one. Or at least convince one of them that you're the one. Oh, my God. He's a Miranda. The one is willing to fight past monsters, face countless dangers, all to break into your home and kiss you while you're sleeping. <laughs> totally normal what? and not problematic at all. You're in luck, Calculester. I've spent years studying and devising this complex formulatic theorem to calculate exactly who the one is. Explain to me more about this formula. It certainly sounds very legitimate. You explain your calculations are carbon-based, because holy shit, if you try to use numbers on Calculester, game over. Instead, your very objective math is calculated using taquitos, fruit bats, <laughs> and a trombone. How perfect! I always have my servants carry all of those things for just such an occasion. Once you put the shoelaces on Honey in place, will you flash a little ankle to activate calculations? The result of this objective process seems to say that Elam is the one for Calculester. Running internal check legitimacy. God. Insert computing noises here. <laughs> <laughs> Diagnosis concluded. Elam is the one for Calculester. Ooh, do me next, do me next! <laughs> if only you could, Miranda. If only you could. But you can only have one prom date. And your eyes are set on that cutie computie's lack of eyes. You gain plus two charm and plus one boldness. Nice. Alright, All right, Twitch chat. That. Hold on, let All me right. go. Open up the poll. Wait, what? Oh, thanks. We have the class. We have library. We have outdoors. The gym. Now that's called getting your dick stuck in the floppy disk. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys this. These are your stats. Twitch chat over here, and these are all the things where you can get stuff. So, whatever you guys lack, get it. All right, here we go. Start poll in three, two, one, go. Why is chat smart? Oh, because there's 1,949 of you. All that IQ has got to average out somewhere. 69, <laughs> nice. Oh, goodbye. Well. I I'm think seeing a lot of votes for the gym. We have an overwhelming winner. Y'all want to get sweaty? Chat wants to get sweaty. 69, nice! Oh, No more 69. Get it back up to 69, chat. Okay. If you're gonna choose Jim, we get 69. That's gonna get sweaty. Come on. Come on. 69, come on. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Nice. They're going to the gym, baby. Nice. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Amidst the battle, you spot a fellow player that seems utterly discouraged. She thinks she's not worth anything at dodgeball, and she attempts to throw a ball at herself. <laughs> to Me! You, you explain to her that many ways you think she's unique and wonderful, while also defending the many pleasures in life. With your help, she's capable of finding reason to keep playing and gains a sense of self-worth. You gain plus one BFF. Sadly, she's not part of this game, so the beautiful friendship will take place off screen. And plus two charm. Oh. Looking around for distraction, you spot Scott proudly flexing while Zoe sits before him, frowning into her notebook. You figure she's trying to draw his ripped bod, so you offer to get some drawing tips. Drawing? What? 
I'm not drawing anything. I'm writing a fanfic about Scott's muscles. What? Caleb. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, you said what? So I was like, are you oh. just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I got confused for a second. What? You are? I thought I was just over here flexing for you for no reason. Like usual. Well, I'm trying to write a fanfic, but so far it's going slower than the first 20 issues of Snail Person Literature Club. <sighs> you glance at Zoe's notebook. It looks like she's just copied out <laughs> <laughs> online encyclopedia TM's list of all the muscles. Oh, I can help, you know. Coach always says you can't spell muscles without some of the letters from adversity. You should add a bad guy who fights against all my good muscles. What? That's been done already. Ugh, it's like you haven't even read Scott vs. Muscle Hating Herbert. Thumbs are famous. And that's exactly my problem. That nobody read your fanfics? Are you for real? What? No! My problem is that I need to put an original spin on this fic, but my mind's more blank than the minds of those cultists who th whose thoughts I used to devour. Well, you have... Have you thought about adding a bad guy who fights against all my good muscles? This conversation is clearly going nowhere without your help. Quick! Fix Zoe's fic! Scott's right. The story needs an antagonist, and everyone knows that the true natural enemy of muscles is the leaf-scale gulper shark. And many muscle stories have been told, but how many have been told from the perspective of the muscles? <laughs> dun, Hold, dun, on. Dun. Hold on. Okay. Good uh, question. Much to think about. Uh, story? Question There's mark? a lot about our society. Not really. Uh, muscle antagonist <laughs> and perspective of muscle. <laughs> so All right. Chats. Here we go. In three, two, one. You may vote. Alright, Twitch chat. Try not to be uh, a misogynist about it. <laughs> if you can succeed being a misogynist against Scott's muscles, I would be... floored. <laughs> I think this one's pretty decisive. Yeah, I think I think we know the answer, unless there's a massive comeback in the last 30 seconds. Twitch, don't be misogynistic challenge. No, I think we're good. I think I think we got the uh, we got yeah, the. I think we got the answer. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Perspective of the muscle. All right, here we go. From the perspective of the muscles. Did somebody say? Muscles. This is more revolutionary than my spooky high treason friendship for revolution AU. <laughs> Starring Polly as the hard partying ghost of Marie Antoinette. Oh my god. Which tag is better? Biceps ex trapezius or bipezius? Does vastus lateralis ex vastus medialis, medialis count as self cessed? Oh my god, I can't even merge this with my spooky ICU Grey's Anatomy matchup AU. I repeat, did somebody say muscles? Zoe's too excited to reply. She's already busy writing the story of an idealistic young pectoralist major who falls for a world weary <laughs> glute gluteus maximus. You Glutein gain plus two maximus. fun and one charm. Tits <laughs> who falls butt. for a butt. That's the butt. <sighs> I decided to write about the sexiest muscles. Okay. <laughs> uh, Viz, ooh, where do you want to go? Mm, hold on, let me just double check. Charm is... was Jim, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to... You have no... you can no... you can no longer get charm or uh, creativity. Oh, that sucks. You That's could okay. try and fix your fun still. That day you list... Uh, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. I'm still sleeping. New game plus two smarts. I'm sleeping. <laughs> Afterwards, you discover you've been poisoned, and only Vera has the antidote. She does this <laughs> all the time. It's how she invites you to hang out. <laughs> there you are. Thank you so much for coming. 
I'm embarking on a new criminal enterprise, and I need a conciliar. The idea is simple, yet brilliant. Think Uber. But for killing people. Oh my god. I call it... Murder. 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 But you take, out, you take out the E. But it turns out the market is flooded with assassination apps. Assassination apps and blood. Oh my god. I need a way to get ahead of the pack. And since you're such a good advisor... Oh my god. Viz, oh my... I think you got her hooked. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe this. Free <laughs> Rachel. Would you like to, would you like to, uh... Differentiate yourself by being the only service that offers free range, organic murders, viral what? marketing, literally, tailor a highly contagious virus to make people love murder. I, I, I... What? <laughs> Ooh. You know, you might be onto something here. I can see it now. Locally sourced knives, farmed to sternum pitchforks, gluten free pistols. Gluten free <laughs> pistols. Gluten free. And the corpses, the corpses will make superb compost for our bespoke poison nursery. <laughs> Killer. I'm surprised. I'm the voice, so just give me a quick second. <laughs> 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 Did someone say the words local, organic, gluten-free, and bespoke? Yes, all those meaningless words and more can be yours if you sign up for my new assassination app. Sorry, I'm strictly opposed to violence as it goes against the poetry of the soul. <laughs> the poisons are brewed in small batches. All right, fine. I'll try to think of someone I want killed. <laughs> Damn, that was quick. If you want to just give me money, I can select someone to kill on your behalf. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, okay, as long as it's organic. As Derek says, sleeves cash and can tell us sign of the log and put from business partnership. Thank you very much, <laughs> <laughs> this is locally sourced, yes? <laughs> it's just somewhere in the background, you just hear, Can that poison increase my muscle size? Earning with you and you gain plus two smarts and plus one money. I'm rich! Alright. Cool. Uh, I guess I need to have more fun. I'm so on fun. <laughs> I mean, I can only get bold, get more money, or have fun. Well, the bathrooms are currently the shop. Yeah, but you still get bold from it. Mm. <laughs> oh, I bet you had to go like. <laughs> I really have to just go. <laughs> what weapon does a fat Jedi use? <laughs> <laughs> Funny joke. I don't know what to go for. Some All right. Money. All right. Let's see what I can grab. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're too poor for cocaine. <laughs> oh. Have fun. Are you gonna go for the free <laughs> item again? No. Uh. We think that. I'm just gonna try. Oh no! <laughs> hey, <Twitch. laughs> Something has happened. Something's to happened to you. Oh no, oh, no. Hey, Twitch chat, something's Hey, Twitch chat. <laughs> something's brewing at Duncan the what, what happened to you, Twitch chat? <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Is there anything more fun than a sleazy traveling carnival? 
Yes, apparently lots of things. Sorry, let me use my word to get into the voice. Muscles! <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I'm the best at sports, and ring toss is a sport. Why am I not winning at the sport of ring toss? Why am I not winning at the sport of burning this carnival to the ground and doing something cool with my weekend? We're not leaving until someone wins me that adorable Harold McDonghard from erotic fanfiction Dragon Heat Plushie. He's anatom- he's anatom- <laughs> he's anatomically correct. Sorry, I ch ch choked on one of my tentacles. I have calculated the odds of winning ring toss success, and they are 0.0005%. It would appear that this game is rigged. Rigged? That's great. No, no, Scott, that's bad. <laughs> Why? Don't we need it to be rigged? You can't spell rigged without win, and you can't spell win without team. So if we just work together... I mean, no. None of that. Like, actually, none of that. <laughs> but teamwork isn't a bad idea. And you decide to call upon your luckiest friend to help beat the rig rigged system. And you know who's lucky? Rich people. But which rich person to choose? <sighs> <laughs> I hope you remember, chat. Who was the richest out of these two? <laughs> Elam, Elam can get so many rings, he could get an extra sonic life out of them, which may not directly correlate. But who cares? Shen Shen's wealth secured him season tickets to basketball, and he actually learned ring toss from fucking LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> Oh my god, here we go. Elam or me. Okay, start the poll. <laughs> oh, oh. Christ. <laughs> Everyone knows that you have no money. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, know you're a bitch. I, I hate to, to say it, but does no one remember I spent all my money too? Uh, we both no. spent our money. Well, both yeah. of you are broke, so one of you is just gonna have to pay the price. That you can't pay, actually. We love you, Shen, but you are broke. You know how you can oh, fix wait. that? Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. It was free. It was free. So I didn't spend any of my money. I do still have money. Alright, well, we all know who the winner here is. All right, here you go. <sighs> money bags Mech Elm shows up money in tow to do what the extremely rich of Spooky High do best. Ignore the rules of society to the feeling of entitlement and take whatever they want for themselves. Go, Elam, toss those rigs, do that sport, win the thing. Sport, 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 <laughs> rig that game. This is just me when I go to a sports game. Elm steps up the ring toss for freezing Come hands. on, England! Come and on, froze, England! And throws the rings in the carney's face and then sucker punches him. <laughs> Fucking metal! <laughs> me? No, no, it's, it's just her face. Don't worry about it. Elm takes the Herald make a dong heart plushie and gives it to Zoe. <gasps> Look at his tiny but proportionately huge manhood! He's so cute! Also, I... help me here! My face is open! <laughs> he sure is, Zoe. He sure is. Way to turn this day around. You two gaining- you- you two gaining plus two fun and plus one charm in the process. <laughs> yep, cock. Yep, cock. Yep, cock. Yep, cock. Finally. Fuck you, Twitch chat! Ha! Fuck you, Twitch chat! <laughs> yeah, get destroyed, Twitch chat. Uh... I'm on your side, Twitch chat. This oh, is wow. actually great injustice. You're welcome, Twitch chat, by the way. Um, sure. Okay, I'm pretty smart already. Uh... Shit. I guess I could go for Charm. Charm was... I keep forgetting what Charm was. It was Jim. Everyone look how hot he is. Yeah. 
That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more, so you valiantly go straight for the other team's leader and start negotiations <laughs> for a truce. After hours of intense diplomacy, you commit to an agreement, but an unexpected twist. You gain plus 10 righteousness, but this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that. And plus 2 charm. <laughs> nice! In the course of your activities, you come across Vera and Polly hatching yet another scheme. Oh boy. You sneak a little closer so you can eavesdrop. Okay. Listen, this has been a fruitful partnership so far in terms of making people look like imbeciles. But I think it's time we monetize. Sick burns don't buy fresh outfits. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. I guess I could use some new things or whatever, but like... New thongs or whatever. I... Wait, what? It said I thongs. Can see her penny. Oh, I couldn't read. <laughs> yeah. I don't... Okay, new thongs or whatever. I don't want to stop making people look dumb just so we can make money. I don't want to sell out. Personally, I can't wait to sell out. But you have a point. We can't sacrifice our brand. My brand! My brand! My brand! My brand! Uh, my, brand. <sighs> my brand. The question, of course, is how do we do both? Yeah, how do we get rich off yanking people's chains? I love to yank. I mean, ugh, careful with your choice of words, Polly. <laughs> what? Chains are big things for ghosts. Of course. They don't seem to have any immediate ideas. Maybe you can offer a solution? Why don't you make a, a phony workout craze? It worked for Frank Pilots, the inventor of pilots. Oh man, do I have a great uh prank for you? I call it stealing. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a great prank. <laughs> uh. What a... Pi pi pilots? Pilates. Pi Pilates. Pilates. Everybody's making fun. I don't know what that word is. It's okay. It's it is a very uncommonly used word. I don't even know what they are. He, so he, 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 look at the bilingual person not being able to pronounce a word they don't know. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. We can make up a bunch of ridicule, uh, ridicule, ridiculous exercises, like uh, tug squats and dick crunches. I'm not looking forward to that one. That's so painful. Hey, hey babe, sick, new I bottom surgery to just dropped. Today. I gotta go. <laughs> and encourage people to post selfies of their workout success. That's <laughs> random crunches. dick picker. <laughs> Yo, my muscles are so- my dick is so small, dude. Wanna see? <laughs> Let's see. Oh. One week subscription to our proprietary service tracker for one dollar. Forty-nine dollars ninety-nine for every hour thereafter. Jesus Christ. I think we might actually turn a profit on this one, Polly. And uh, hey! If a bunch of people get stronger dicks and tongues in the process, I'm not going to complain, if you know what I mean. You have no idea what you've just unleashed on the world. But these <laughs> two seem happy with you. You gain plus one creativity <laughs> and plus two smarts. I'm so smart. Your fun is so low. You're so unfun. I know. Right. You're I'm no fun at all, honey. Mm, all right. But you're a good businessman. Nice mm -hmm. thought. Look at Oz. That day, while rehearsing for the class uh, play, you aren't especially good nor inspired. For once, it seems you aren't getting the classic creativity boost from the auditorium. Wait, what? Oh, but afterwards, thanks. while talking to your classmates, you're having trouble conveying your point of discussion, so you decide to convey it for music. You start singing, and suddenly everyone else joins you in a kick-ass musical number. It's so amazing that the people with whom you were arguing totally get your point and change their minds once the song is over. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity. Nice. All in this together. <laughs> you spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test your new blanket. You wear it as if you were a goofy ghost and approach them with a spooky boo. While Miranda is explaining something, you unlock the ghost route. <laughs> Why is it hurting? <laughs> I got morning wood. <laughs> this. And that's why 
say those treacherous air people are the absolute worst, and also most likely tied to the disappearance of Mars Argo. <gasps> oh, what's this? A ghost? Perhaps a foreign exchange student? <laughs> what are you talking about? <gasps> it's not a ghost, even my muscles are scared. I didn't see you there. So ghostly. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. What? How did I get here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are joking, right? This is clearly just Shen wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become addicted. Of course she likes it, because it reminds her of a clan rally. <laughs> yeah, Ethan. Liam. You don't see anyone saying... Oh, Liam is really just Shen wearing a blanket over his eye holes, cutting the... <laughs> I fucking love this, man. I saw it too. I was tempted to say something, but I didn't. You took me out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking god. Oh my god. Literally. We're not repeating it. Moving on. <laughs> like, um, it was the first thing established about her character, okay? Alright, go on. <laughs> You're not wrong. I've been sitting on- I've been sitting on that joke for a little while. I think I read <laughs> Yeah, you read it, yep. Hmm? Wait, what? Oh, thanks. Exactly, Liam. Even despite the many times uh... you suspected it was so. What? <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, sorry, little ghost. We were ignoring you. That's true. Tell us. Do you have any cool ghost powers? Oh, yes. Divulge. Divulge. Basic ghost knowledge, ghost main power is levitating stuff. Ultimate ghost prank on someone into despair. Oh dear. <laughs> you use your ghostly hands to grab your phone and you start waving it in front of them. <laughs> Whoa! Look, it's making a, its phone levitate! <laughs> Total ghost move. Really see how he is grabbing it with his hands. Oh, but see, the phone is moving in a very spooky way, which means it is levitating. You can literally do the same with your hands. No way. Let me check. It is true. Look. Scott is moving his phone with his hands, man, and starts doing the same. What sort of sorcery is this? Suddenly, we all can levitate our phones! And I'm a talking phone, too. <laughs> <laughs> really, this isn't a ghost, and this is happening because... Because the ghost is sharing its ghost powers with us! What a generous ghost! You can learn a thing or two from this ghost, Liam. I can't recall you sharing your vampire powers with us. I'm out. <laughs> Liam leaves and you spent several hours moving your phones with your hands while booing! You gave those two footed for such a such a generous ghost! Oh, I'm so I glad you bought that item. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go buy something sale? because I'm curious what's there. Um, okay. Go to pork or cocaine. Vera's name reminds me of Viera, so that makes me happy. Not gonna lie, I'm... I am tempted to see how smart I can get. I'm assuming this one is gonna increase smarts. See you later. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, you're so smart. Later, gamer. All right, Shit. Twitch chat, you have the option of... Hold on. You have the option of... Class? Library? And the bathrooms. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna hover again. These are your stats. And this is where you get what, so... Which chat in the bathroom? <laughs> Singing the Halo theme in perfect harmony. <laughs> Alright, get started. There's 2,000 people just in the fucking bathroom just singing the Halo theme. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have like 2,000 viewers, so there's literally 2,000 people oh, in the bathroom. Yeah. We stack them so much together, oh, it just become liquid. Thanks yeah. a bunch. Well, actually, funny you say that with what happened within the, the bathroom last time in our last playthrough. I may or may not have flooded the place trying to turn it into an under underwater bathroom. Also, monster shit everywhere. There was literally yeah. monster shit everywhere, and it birthed a tree that really hates you. You yeah. hog monster shit. Okay, well, we have a unanimous decision on the bathroom, so... Yeah. We really gotta go over take a pass. That day you skip class, just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Blah blah blah. Okay, on the way there you run into Mimi the Oni girl. She offers some of her weird no. Japanese energy drink. You take a sip that tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of the shit. Guarana seed extract, uh, benzoic acid, 50 mg of caffeine, and 100 mg of boldness. Well, it wasn't bad at all. You gain plus two boldness, thanks Mimi, and proceed to, to the bathrooms. Where you shit yourself for three hours. So he's catching you up on the latest development of pirate Twitch chat in hey, his spooky high seas fan fiction, but suddenly a portal opens up. While you're having diarrhea. <gasps> Never fear, oh, the interdimensional prince is here. I have come to claim my bride, or husband, or non-binary life partner, using the terminology of that of that choosing. Wink. I'm sold. <laughs> yep. Expected. The interdimensional prince. I love when he pops up. He always had so much wacky drama. Wait a moment. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Oh, thanks. Weren't you previously eldritch horror and subsequently trapped in a totem deity, Zgord? <gasps> did, did you just... Did you just dead name her? Bro, did, did I? you just dead name her? Did I actually? <laughs> yes, that was me. You devoured my grandfather molecule by molecule, turning every atom of his existence into a million scarab beetles before crushing them when snorting their powdered corpses. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's totally not me anymore. No! It was magnificent! And now here you are, in the body of a high school girl, but of legal age of consent, which is exactly my type! Come, my beautiful devourer of worlds. Be my horrific bride. Oh, no. Zoe Twitch is chat. such a spooky high fan, she might agree to marry the prince just for fanfic purposes. Better stop this right now. Be careful, Zoe. Uh, be careful. Zoe has been married 17 times before and eaten every one of her spouse's minds. Why get married when you can bounce on this trample? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I like that option. You know what? Fair. <laughs> Um. Anyway, yes, Zoe is trans. Uh, I have decided. Yes. And Zoe is trans. And it yeah. is. Yep. <laughs> Wait, is it actually canon? Yes. Wow. <gasps> oh, it's Zoe's actually, trans. Cool. Fuck yep. yeah, let's go. No. <laughs> we All got right. the trans voice actress to voice a trans character. Let's go. Her actual uh, her actual VA is non-binary themselves. <gasps> cool. What is this vote? Oh, it was 100% for so long. Well, Chad really wants h him to jump on their trampoline, so... Mm. I can't believe I got to voice the trans girl and also just the guy that comes along and randomly fucking dead names her. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, thanks a bunch, man! <laughs> We're getting a trampoline, yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, we I'm so sorry. I, I didn't even give. I didn't even give anyone else a chance with that one. I just saw this guy and I was like, I know what I have to do. Uh, that's fair enough. <laughs> it's fine. It was so immediate. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's chill. It's like healing the world with the comedy. <laughs> trampoline. I love trampolines. Aww. 
As do I, my blushing bride. I love whatever you love. Simp. <laughs> Simp. That's how good relationships work, right? You just oh. pretend to like whatever the other person likes until one of you dies? Oh, dear. Whatever. Here we go! The three of you run over to the trampoline that was in this location for some reason because spooky high and begin to bounce. This is more fun than tasting the fear seeping out of every pore of my trembling prey! I'm glad. I can jump higher than you! I can jump higher than you! I can jump higher than you! He's just gone. Just fucking gone. At that moment, the prince jumped so high that he was swooped up by a giant falcon! Oh no! Bye. Oh no! Oh! oh. Well, your competition is gone, Twitch chat. A giant falcon yeah. that really flies into the engine of a jumbo jet plane. trampoline fun time. Oh, please, Yikes. Oh. That probably hurt, but it probably wasn't fatal. The prince is immortal, right? Or is he just interdimensional? It's hard to keep these things straight. Fuck it. He's probably fine. And you get plus two boldness and plus one smarts. You also get a gorgeous giant falcon feather that floats down from the sky. That's not usable in this game, but just be aware for the rest of this run that you totally have a falcon feather in your pocket. Goodbye, Prozy D. My man's got syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> no capes. No capes. Hog! Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I get to choose the table I'm on. Yay! Yeah. you do. I don't, lol. Huh. Oh, the Slayer's here. Oh boy, what's this guy doing here? Why does that guy look like Aaron Hansen? I think it hurts. <laughs> Vision took my table! Vera is spending her lunch period scheming. As usual, Cagalessa mm, looks, uh, looks on in a mechanical approximation of dismay. Mm, scheming. <laughs> now, if I can just get the poison into the next shipment of cafeteria food, the starving students will be forced to pay me inflated prices for my authentic food flakes. <laughs> Vera, no. Do not do this. Why? Have you determined that it's unprofitable? No. Pathetic. Are you looking for a cut? Negative. Are you a Robocop? You have to tell me if you're a Robocop. I am not a law officer, but Whoa, what you have planning bunch, to do man. is wrong. <laughs> mm, agree to disagree. Error cannot comply with internally contradictory instructions. <laughs> Meltdown imminent. Self destruct in five. Oh. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> this could get ugly. You need to chill Calculester out or convince Vera to change her ways. I don't Lol. Know. Fat chance. <laughs> don't worry, Cal. Vera is just being helpful. Sure, the poison may kill some people, but those who survive will be more resistant to poison in the future. Or whatever. Calculester is right, Vera. I mean, did you even check to see if her poison is vegan friendly? I'm sorry, but that first option is kind of just really fucking scary, considering the current climate. <laughs> it appears I misunderstood your intentions, Vera. You are doing this for medical reasons. Hmm. Yes, this... <laughs> if I am, can I write the poi off the poison as a tax re <laughs> My god, I can't read. If I am, can I write off the poison as a tax deduction? According to the to taxfraudsforcriminals.com. Yes. Uh, then yes. This changes everything. Congratulations on your <laughs> ethical <laughs> behavior. Slow clap initiating. Yes, I am the greatest. Vera clearly appreciates her quick thinking. Maybe she'll even yeah, give you a of cut of her inflated food profits. Definitely Let's not. Alright. Let's go check out what's going on over here. You're taking a break from socializing to eat your lunch when someone punches you in the knee. Ow. It's the Slayer, and she's hiding under your table. I'm hiding under the table. Can I? Of course. Go for it. Eat me, pain freak, and now I'm going to punch your other- Ow! You just uh -huh. threw your apple at her. Finally, a use for that red delicious. No, oh, I'm a talking apple. You defeated the Slayer. She flees, leaving two choices. 
<laughs> Two pieces of loot behind. Help me. I don't get to voice any characters. They all disappear before I can. You could voice the talking loot that's currently dying. <laughs> the loot yeah. flashes rapidly, getting ready to disappear, almost as if you're in some kind of video game. No uh, time to me. contemplate the nature of existence. Pick some loot before it's all gone. Garlic, rice, and holy water. One monster's weakness is another monster's dinner. A gun that shoots sticks with <laughs> each shit burn into the side of them. <laughs> <laughs> you scoop up the sweet ass gun and go about your day. <laughs> just like you're not well, now we're just gonna kill Liam. You're not going to use it to kill any of your classmates. Your monster, not a monster. Yeah, like Chucky. But later in biology class, a teacher calls on you Gentle without food. warning. You Gentle panic food. because it was time to do the <laughs> reading when you're trying to smooch your classmates. But you panic against the self-assurance when you hear the teacher's question, what do flies do? Rather than responding with lame-ass spoken words, you respond by firing a wooden stick straight into the chalkboard. Eat shit, exclaims the teacher, but that's exactly right. Congratulations. You meant to shoot the teacher, but hey, whatever works. <laughs> <laughs> I have won the video oh, game. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I need to do a poll for this. But. You can't write this shit. You can and they did. Yeah, you can and they did. And they're fucking geniuses. Were... That was such a good fucking joke. I don't, I don't think you need a poll. <laughs> I, t I, t I know that they're gonna go for Zoe. That was such a good joke. <laughs> <sighs> all right. I'm just gonna end it here because we all know you guys wanna go top right. Fuck you, chat. Fucking <laughs> sips. You sit down with Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> you sit down with Zoe and Miranda. Miranda is paying no attention to her eating serfs. Serfs? Uh, and Zoe yep. is paying too much attention to them. Disgusting. What are you doing, Zoe? Don't you know how rude it is to oogle another woman's eating serfs? I'm not oogling. I'm researching for my fanfic. My dear, when it is about royalty, it is not called fanfic. It's called propaganda. What? Oh, I'm not writing about you right now. I'm writing about your eating serfs. What? Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna really dive into their inner lives, their hopes, dreams, and desires. Oh, don't be silly. Serfs don't have any of those things. Do they, serfs? The eating serfs' no. eyes dart between Miranda and Zoe, terrified. Should they speak or just shut up and eat? You're right, Miranda. Most serfs don't have thoughts or feelings. Only the really expensive and rare ones do. Make menacing eye contact with the two serfs. Silently place a piece of sushi in your mouth and chew violently. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is a serf? Some serfs yet eat. It's. It's like. It's like an un. Ugh. It's a feudalism. It's like a servant. Thing. They're just oh, bound. Yeah. To, to yeah. They're they're oh, they're, they're workers that are bound to a, a lord or a lady. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, like they, see. like they live on their land in return for their labor. I'd say servant, but they don't get paid. Slave. Okay, here you go. Chat. <laughs> Basically, just a slave. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> it's a slave, but feudalism. Kill him, baby. Ooh. And also, you cannot buy and sell serfs. We're having a more split decision. Not just kidding. Never mind. Just kidding. Can you make it to 69%? Hee <laughs> hee. Funny no, number. No, not the funny number. Come on, chat. Come on, chat, vote. Also, thank you for the five gifted subs. We're getting closer and closer to 1,700 subs. Uh, which is... Hold on, let me check. Uh, we met the Apex Legends stream, and then the 1,700 is oh, the You Laugh. Go. You substream. Hey. Okay. And with that, 
Eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. Since Miranda's eating serfs or fish people, this is a lot like walking up to a human and deliberately eating a finger in front of them. Oh god. I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, but your show of intimidation <laughs> really makes Miranda's serfs clam up. Oh, but I'm Ah, yes, subtle threats of violence, a true sign of royal li lineage. What? Ugh, what is it with mortals and not wanting their flesh eaten? It's such a weird hang up. <laughs> if by weird you mean useful for controlling the masses, then I suppose I agree. The eating serves try their best to ignore you as they stuff food into their quivering mouths. You feel like you did the right thing, but you don't have much of a conscience, so that's not saying much. Anyway, Miranda's happy. All right, Shen, your turn. You find Scott and Damien immersed in their favorite mobile game, Pokemon's Go. <laughs> Based on the classic pocket humans. Oh, uh, yes, gotta catch all the humans. Shadow, thanks so much for the two months. <laughs> My Reginald Bosworth uses income tax audit. <laughs> oh, no. My Lindsay Robert never saves receipts. It's super effective. <laughs> now for the finishing blow, the... W wait, what? Reginald contracted lymphoma? <laughs> Reginald's lymphoma, lymphoma deals lymphoma. 500 physical damage to him and 999 emotional damage to him and his loved ones. Lymphoma. Whoa, I would again. Why are all of your Pokemon so unhealthy, Damien? Because I make them all smoke cigarettes and live next to toxic waste dumps, obviously. Maybe you should stop that? Where's the fun in that? Let's have another match! Uh, <laughs> Alright, oh. right. What are you two nerds, nerds, nerds doing, nerds? Nerd, 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 nerd. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Scott! Is that you? We didn't recognize you under all that nerdery! What are you doing playing a dumb video game for stupid babies? But Pokemon isn't dumb. It's cool because, because. No way is Scott gonna come up with anything. But if you do, maybe you can score some points with Scott or Damien. Show them that the phone equip of Pokemon's Go can also be used as a football. Oh, Say nothing, pelt him with steamed vegetables. <laughs> I like both of them. <laughs> I like both. Oh, vegetables! We have those! Stop it! <laughs> Seriously, pot us with ground beef or something, I'll make some snossages or pig's ears! Snossages? How about some forks and knives? <laughs> or oh, some boy. knives and knives. Yeah. Knives and knives. I can't wait to go home and eat some snossages. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep throwing knives. Take me oh, to snurge. These knives are almost as bad as the vegetables! <laughs> Guys, come on! Like stop throwing knife. carrots and knives at my cousins! Oh. You stop. Alright, as soon as the wolf pack have, threat, uh, have retreated out of range. Bunch of dicks. <laughs> nice thinking! <laughs> Finally, I use for vegetables, am I right? <laughs> Damien barely remembers to take the knife out of his hand before high fiving you. He does, though, so that's oh. a win. <laughs> Just stabs you in the hand. <laughs> oh, Christ. Her friend, boy. Her friend, boy. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm lost. I'm gonna fucking kill Twitch shut. <laughs> the game is rigged for Twitch shut, and I'm actually yeah. for it, in all honesty. This is biased towards yeah, Twitch chat. Over to the people. Alright, Twitch chat, you have a lot of options. Like, a we'll lot of options. One, okay. okay. Yep. Uh, where to go? You have, as the <laughs> options, you have odd. Odd. How do you fucking write auditorium? Odd. Auditorium. Auditorium. You have class, library, uh, outdoors, the gym, and the bathrooms. So while well, this is going on, I'll be right back. I'm gonna show your okay. your stats again right here. Where does what? And then hell yeah. Good luck, chat. You're gonna need it. Ominous. 
Honestly, Twitch shop being first is actually a massive problem because that's so much choice for them. Yeah. Yeah. We have to contain their chaos. This isn't right. <laughs> yep. Look at that. It's like, some of them actually want to go take a piss right now, but they can't. Sorry, guys. You just gotta hold it. <laughs> Be brave. Be strong for mother. <laughs> Clarence. <laughs> oh shit, I wrote library wrong. Oh well, whatever. You guys know what I was let's, let's say. Library. Li library. 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 <laughs> I think that's pretty much how I see it. If you see a library, I don't think you're a human. I'm smart. <laughs> I go to the library. <laughs> I think you've been hanging out with Scott too much. Hey, where do you work out in the library? Oh, okay, well, you're going to the auditorium. That's She's so, so cute. cute. <laughs> <laughs> that day while rehearsing for the class play, you do t uh, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw Ew. roses at you. Seven <laughs> roses to be exact. Damn, roses aren't a valid currency or a stat in this game. Anyway, you check your co uh, converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Huh, it seems seven roses equals two creativity points. Sweet, you gain plus two creativity. Fantastic logic. You notice Zoe with a big grin on the an 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 amalgam of chaotic nightmares she has used to form her face. It's adorable. Aww. Aww. Twitch chat, hey, guess what? My latest comic, Who Watches the Watchmen Have Sex, just got published in Weird Tales magazine. I worked so hard on it, and it's finally out there in the world. Nothing can ruin this moment for me. Oh. What the fuck send are you? Nudes. Is that a Kappa wearing That's a send a nude Star Wars font shirt? Uh, hold Kappa, on. one, two, three. Uh, I think I, can I, can I, I can I because I'm getting like no yes. character. All my characters yeah, disappear. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. That sounds like a challenge. Leonard, come on. Why do you always have to slide into my DMs? Delightful moods. <laughs> because I must shed light on injustice wherever it arises. What about world hunger, global warming, income equality, human trafficking? You didn't let me finish. I must shed light on injustice where it arises. In the world of Phantom, specifically. Oh, cool. Social justice warriors. Again. <laughs> <laughs> what is that voice line? It's not cool, uh, Zoe. It's not cool that publishing houses are showering attention on marginali uh, marginalized authors just because inclusivity is not is hot right now. I mean, look at you. You've got it all. You're purple. You're allegedly a woman. You what? Oh. 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 This guy is so shit. You come from a hideous dimension beyond mortal comprehension. Any magazines would die to be able to associate you with this brand. But it's, uh, but it's a shallow marketing stunt. And what's worse, it's distracting from the real injustice that the liberal media is too scared to discuss. What about the artists who aren't part of some cool, sexy, underrepresented minority? What about us? How are we supposed to get recognized? If I was to entertain all of the BS you just said, I'd say, I don't know, maybe through a combination of talent and the numerous connections and avenues you have available to you as a privileged member of society. You use the P word around me, Missy. If I'm privileged, then how come my comic zombie sluts on Fuck Island? Still is yet to be published. That's a real mystery. Because you spend voice. all your time complaining about non existent obstacles instead of getting better at art. Ross Donovan, oh, Donovan by the way. <laughs> Ross would never. This is voice. This guy, Leonard, is Ross Donovan. <laughs> That's Ross. It's good because Ross in real life would never. No, he would never. He would never. Mm, perhaps you have a point. Oh no, wait, I forgot you were a girl. This can't possibly be my fault. It's much more likely that the entire industry is based against me. <sighs> Looks like there's only one way to solve this. You're way ahead of her. You select the only option that makes sense. 
For years, you've possessed the gem of Garado, a powerful artifact capable of raising four people from the dead. Why not resurrect four great artists and ask their opinions? Use the Calcraft sorting hat to determine the objective value of the two comics. Oh, Which... We're gonna kill him. Yeah, why not just fucking kill him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, raising people from the dead and Calcraft's sorting. Hey, this is actually Twitch chat's redemption arc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. God. I I never thought it possible. Where's the option to just beat the shit out of this little guy? I yeah. Know. Yes. Oh god. Of course he's a Star Wars fan too. Look at him. Yeah. Look at that <laughs> font on that shirt. Oh god, my nose. Oh. It's a mod where you get to just kill him. <laughs> Where's my violence button? Hey, this would be a perfect opportunity for error gun. That's true. Alright, you're raising people from the dead. You're receiving the gem of Garado to resurrect your family in case they all die tragically for some die tragically for some reason, but this seems just as important. You reach into the nether realm and summon Velez K I I don't know Vel Velasquez. Velasquez, Goya, Picasso, and El Greco. Uh, how do we say it? Greek Greco? Four of the greatest visual artists of all time. Oh hey, I recognize some of those guys. Picasso helped me design my layer of mental anguish, along with MC Escher and David Lynch. Hey Zoe, says Pablo Picasso. Long time no see. I heard you have some art for us to look at. Wrong! We have one piece of art, mine, and one piece of trash, hers. Here they are. Hmm, says El Greco, furrowing his brow at the paintings. What sort of art is this? You seem to have placed numerous titillating uh, images inside of tiny boxes. I do not quite, uh, I do not know quite what to make of this. Says Goya, holding up Leonard's piece. But even to my untrained eye, this one appears to be what we refer to in the art business as a complete turd. Whatever you're saying, you are wrong. That's really <laughs> Ross? Yes. <laughs> wow, he sounds nothing like Ross. <laughs> Damn. That's it's bullshit! <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at either, says Picasso, but I like how you put everything in little squares. I have a thing about shapes. Personally, <laughs> says Velez, Val, Val's K, Valquez, uh, I find those pieces pleasantly reminiscent of Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, meditated by hints of Magical <laughs> Girl manga, and Fuck The off. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, all of which also influenced my own work, as can clearly see in my famous painting, Le <laughs> This is true. Squirrel Girl <laughs> did influence classical art. <laughs> Leonard tries to post angrily about how these four dead artists are part of the liberal establishment, but it doesn't work because they don't have social media. You gain plus the creativity <laughs> and plus what smarts from hanging out with famous and dead painters. All right. You've redeemed yourself, chat. <sighs> Where am I gonna go? Squirrel Girl is great, by the way. Everyone should read Squirrel Girl. The day you spend some time on the library's PCs playing some good old online poker. Gambling seems like the stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. I gained plus two money. Ugh. Did you really, as you're feeling like going full ghost with your blanket again? You were oh so my God. <laughs> Oh no! Yes! Going full, going, going full blanky mode! Oh, it's Miranda. It's Miranda again. When you spot going Miranda mode. and Damien. You're about to get closer when suddenly. Greetings, my love. Oh my god, you're alive. <laughs> Greetings, beautiful high schoolers. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I'm here to rescue you from your mundane existence. Just sign these marriage papers. Not this guy again. <laughs> Look! Oh, Whoa! Sorry. <gasps> An underworld spectre! Oh no. This again. What again? Liam, this is clearly a kick-ass powerful ghost. Look at his face! 
So deadpan, <laughs> no expression at all! That's because it's not a face, it's a sheet with two holes cut in it. Man, I wish my face had two holes cut in it. <laughs> that would be fucking metal! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not a face, it's... Ghost Brent, help us! Save us from this interdimensional creep! Not of a creep? <laughs> yeah, do something! Something ghostly! I was an Omori. Do <laughs> 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 oh, no! you remember me? No! I was space, no! my friend. I should have just said boo. <laughs> Ouch! That was rude. So, that was your plan? Throw a rock at him, and now what? <laughs> that wasn't chivalrous or ghostly. I'm rather disappointed. <laughs> violence is cool, but vanilla violence is lame as fuck. <laughs> if you were gonna throw something at him, throw an angry panther at him, or, or a super rock, whatever that is. I suspect a better performance from people who intend to save me. Oh, everyone's a critic now. What a lame ghost you are. <laughs> Hurt Steve. Oh, he is not a ghost. You leave the four of them to solve their own tricky, non-consensual abduction situation while you reflect on your ghost skills. Could it be that you're not a good ghost? You thought oh that God. wearing a blanket <gasps> with two holes cut in it was enough. No. Now you no. lose minus two smarts. Minus one creativity. Let's no! I'm You're going back to Omori now. <laughs> Space boyfriend uh... time. <laughs> Don't cry, Shen. Mm. It's gonna be okay. I'm so lonely. <laughs> it's okay, Shen. It's okay. Everyone is going to deny me. <laughs> it's okay. You got this. You can get a date to uh, the prom. I will. Right, I'll go to the gym. Look at all those smarts. I want her to fucking kill me. <laughs> that day an epic double match takes place. But the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. You're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. He's totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. Damn, you know how to win over people's arts. You gain plus two charm. You see Calculus delicately applying water to one of his favorite little succulents with an eye dropper. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> he looks so peaceful. But <laughs> Leonard shows up with a smug grin on his <sighs> shitty face. Oh no. Hey Calculus, what you doing? Watering your succulent? I bet you think you're too succulent fan, huh? Oh, if gosh. by fan you mean one who has a strong interest or admiration for a particular person or thing, then yes. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, if you're such a succulent fan, name three of their help! <laughs> I'm gonna strangle this guy! <laughs> I... do not understand. Ha! It was a trick question! Succulents don't have albums! A true fan would have known that already! <laughs> but I assure you, friend... You don't want to call have to call him friend. Well, he's a nice robot. Of true. course he's gonna say friend. <laughs> friend Leonard. I feel the closest mechanical equivalent to love for my little plants. Love? Like Fandom isn't about love, it's about the wanted accumulation of memor... Memor... Memorabilia. Memorabilia. <laughs> How many succulent posters do you have? <laughs> oh. Zero. Oh no. That's why I thought. Meanwhile, I've got 19. I've got more posters than I've got walls to hang them on. Looks like the only true succulent fan here is me! This claim is distressing, and yet I cannot disprove it. But you can! Time to let everybody know the ultimate standard for determining a true succulent fan. A true succulent fan has every succulent, including the uncut versions, and at least one succulent signed by its creator, God. A true <laughs> succulent fan would actually be a fan. Oh, I do. Just a real fan. Just a fan. Straight up. I don't know which one to go for here. I'm scared. I say go to. Yeah, probably, probably two. He's a robot. I reckon he can probably. Good do lord, it, it makes so much sense. Fans are cool. Fans demonstrate a ma ma machine-like devotion to their chosen subject. Fans are literally called fans. 
could it be that the ideal fan in any medium is in fact just an actual fan? <laughs> if your hypothesis is correct, I should remind you that my oh, chassis yes. contains yes. 36 individual fans for controlling my CPU temperature. 36! Damn. But just one of those on its own would be the ultimate fan. 36 ultimate fans is one body is impossible. I assure you, it is quite possible. In fact, it is necessary, for without my fans, my insides would quickly melt. I do feel that my many fandoms keep me from melting alive. You and I are so much alike, Calculus, or... No. Yes, we are. We are both so bipedal. Finally, someone who truly understands me! Did he just fucking say GG? <laughs> yeah. You're not sure you'll ever understand, Leonard. But at least he's not trolling Calculus or anyone. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity and plus Don't three Don't troll the baby! <sighs> what am I doing? I'm um, not sure. I'm already smart. Um, sure. This gives me fun. You do this have a lot of money. This. Yeah. Eight money. How much money do you have? Oh, eight. Eeny, meeny, meeny. Hoard it all, build your wealth, amass an empire. Alright, I'll actually try to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> the day during recess, you still have our rave that goes full crazy. You're casually chatting with Juan, the small magical Latino cat. You start telling him the hilarious story of what happens last summer at Monster Camp. You know which one? The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll of the president, the penguin mask, and the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly, lots of people start joining you to hear the story. By the time you say where the Goblin King was, 100 people are uh, so burst into hysterical laughter. You turn on a mobile app that captures all the laughter and turns it into plus two fun. Holy shit, I'm fun. The fun can go uh, Finally. Yeah. Between class periods, oh, you discover no a severed you. horse head in your locker. What? It has a note in its mouth <laughs> telling you to meet Vera ASAP. What the meet fuck? ASAP. I'm so glad you've come. I have another crime problem which would benefit from your insight. Hold on, wait, before oh, you continue. No. Okay. Wait. Hmm? Okay. Wait, what the fuck? No. Okay, there we go. I'm done. Sorry about that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I mean, we can, do it. we can do it properly if you want. No, yeah. it was just the it was the problem that I pressed the wrong button like twice. Okay. <laughs> Thanks to your input, murder has cornered the market in app-based assassinations, and yet. Is that a good thing? The other crime lords don't take me seriously. Just because I'm not a 40-year-old man with a scary scar, those sexist morons think that this is just a phase for me. Ugh. Since when did having a killer body and flawless skin disqualify a girl from a life of crime? It's disgusting. How can I show these chauvinist goons what crime really means to me? Come on, think of something. You're my most trusted advisor. Oh, it's so much pressure. Quit crime. They'll come crawling back once they see how bad it is without you. Or write a song about it. It'll help. <laughs> I'm imagining oh, Vera trying to write a song. A bunch, man. <laughs> I awesome thanks for the sub. <laughs> We're five? so close. Look at look up there. Look at like up there. Almost at one thousand seven. Oh, <gasps> six six six. Hey. Oh, oh my god. You know, if this advice was coming from anyone other than you, I'd ignore it. But you haven't been wrong yet. Fine. As of today, I'm quitting crime. I'll let the other bosses know. I'm sure they'll be so pleased. A few days later, you're getting a manicure with Ver uh, Vera Gambozo Jeanette. Thanks for another gift itself. Uh, arch humorist of the deranged clown assembly bursts in weeping. Oh my goodness. Gambozo Jeanette. Arch humorist <laughs> of the deranged Bozo family. Hey, I'm weeping over He's here. Weeping. <laughs> You're weeping over there. Well, either he's weeping or he's got a sad face painted on his regular face. It's hard to tell with clouds. Honk honk, bitch. What are you doing here, Bozo? Didn't they tell you I quit crime? 
Gunbozo makes a series of gestures, honks, and quacks. <laughs> Clownish. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> Luckily, Vera's fluent. What's that you say? The world of crime is a wreck without me? Oh, do tell. Hmm. He says nobody's been able to get good poison since I retired. Everyone's money is frightfully unlaundered. Damn. Don't know why they need poison for that, but... Plus, half the bosses are dead because the letters I sent out announcing my sabbatical were full of vicious vungal spores. <laughs> wonder how that happened. <laughs> well, I had no idea you were all so miserable about me. You can tell the boss I'm back in the game. Gunbozo leaps up in the air and clicks the heels of his... In <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> of his enormous red shoes. They're so enormous. I love you too, Bozo. We'll have a gang war to celebrate. See you on the battlefield. Good Bozo runs out of the nail salon and piles into his tiny car with his 20 closest friends. Oh God. Mara looks at you dumbstruck. I must say, I never thought this would work. You truly are a loyal advisor. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, if only you could be more than just an advisor. But you can't risk sharing your true feelings. Better just take the two smarts and one money and move on. You'd better have no other true feelings, but I don't know. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh jeez. Twitch Again? Chat. Why is everything... Why does everything happen to Twitch chat? Why is it when something goes wrong, it's, it's always, always all 2,000 of you? It's always all 2,000 of you. <laughs> well, I suppose, statistically speaking, there's three of you and there's 2,122 of them. You get a text message from Calculuster. When you open it, he emerges from your phone and appears in your room. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry to burst in on you like this friend Twitch chat but I am in experiencing a romantic <gasps> dilemma. Oh. oh, fair enough. It's not like you respect your classmate's privacy when you're trying to romance them. You ask him what's up. I am currently experiencing two parallel <gasps> lovers, one for your classmate, Shen, and the other equally strong love for <laughs> Elam. You tell him to switch both of them. That's what you would do. I would be delighted. Unfortunately, I came factory equipped with tamper-proof <laughs> monogamy. Monog monogamy. Monogamy module. I must choose one or the other. No. You are familiar with the intimate details of their lives, yes? Please assist me. Which one of your friends has more experience loving a machine? I didn't know I was in this. <laughs> well, it should have had a single mega I can see you, Shen. <laughs> let me tell man. you, he has blown many. <laughs> wow. <laughs> gonna be the next one, Shen. I'm really happy, Shen. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be the next one. Hello, no doubt he's always a chick to spend Because he's all about safety and protection. Oh, I hate shit. how much I just got called out. I hate how much I just got called out. Ah, oh, Jesus. Wait, hold on. Really? Remember to go. disable you. One or two, here you go, Twitch chat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for these options, Shed. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, this part is close. Well, obviously not, because, I mean, you're gonna... <laughs> you're way ahead of me, buddy. <laughs> Well, yeah, someone's Just called. a little, a little reference won't help me out in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little addendum to your CV. I think it's because Twitch chat feels bad for me. <laughs> Twitch chat, no, why do you do this to me? I mean, it's not like it's gonna change anything. I'm fucked. I should just go to the prom as a ghost. 
Hell yeah! That'll probably be what happens. <laughs> it's probably- Ghost Redemption Arc Pog. Yeah. Alright, oh my god, we have so many votes! He's something that makes you the coolest ghost. Come on, can we get to 500? Whoa! You have to be cooler than Polly at the bunch, prom. man. <laughs> Come on! Come on, 500! Come on! Come on! Yes! Good job, guys. You're all very sick, except for that. And yeah, I guess Elam does inject his pen drives. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, Trish Chat, let's go. Oh! If what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, oh, right, okay. Okay, I understand now. If I possessed a heart, it would be warmed by this. Did you know that one of my first romantic partners was a pen drive? Okay, changing the subject. <laughs> <laughs> a student at your school wished to, Here. wished to view a certain type of media in the library and so plugged a pen drive full of illicit media into me. Oh dear. <laughs> Why? That feeling of communication yeah. with that Hell tiny yeah. creature. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Was only rivaled by the devastating sensation of having oh, it ripped from me when no. the librarian came by. Why is this robot so miserable? <laughs> I am deeply moved that Elam shares my passion for safety and gently disconnecting pen drives. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> it's not the size that matters, but how you eject it. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I am off to romance your friend based on your recommendation. Calculus to grows jets and flies out through your window. He must be pretty excited. Game plus too fun. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Helium. Finally, we cut Twitch chat. Let's do this. Um. You know what, I'm going. I'm going to get money. Wow. Oh. That day you spent some time in the library's PC spending with malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing <laughs> other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they just found such blatant scam? Whoa. You lose oh, minus ten karma, which man. isn't a stat in this game, so who cares? <laughs> and you gain plus two money. Looking at so, you, everyone who's clicked on a free Nitro fucking link. Oh my god. Sure. You settled down at a computer to do the kind of internet research that will necessitate clearing your browsing history. When you notice, three of your most fuckable classmates keep I'm... on at the next computer Come over. On, baby. Who's nice. This <laughs> Yo, Axel! Axel, thank you so much for the 30 gifted subs! I'm reaching That's a lot our, of fucking subs. Reaching our next goal at 1,700, which is the You Laugh You Substream. For those that don't know what You Laugh You Substream is, uh, it is going to be my fucking downfall. Um, <laughs> basically, I'm a very giggly person. And I laugh at pretty much everything, and everybody knows this. Uh, so basically, it's like the you laugh, you lose rules, except that every time I laugh, I have to gift five subs to Twitch chat. Oh dear. By uh, videos that you guys donate. I'm- that's gonna- it's gonna be the fucking hardest day of my life. <laughs> Does it count towards the goal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I- I can't- I can't manually turn it off, but, uh... <laughs> yeah. The next one is, uh... At 1,800, which is, I will be Fantasia-ing, uh, N14 all the way until Endwalker. 
by popular choice from chat. So we're gonna do like a poll that has like every single race and sub race, and I'm gonna have to be that all the way until Endwalker. So that's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Lala Fellboxer, but we'll see. Rovember, 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 right. Rovember, Rovember. Let's continue. Have you tried? Have you tried clicking it? I cannot click, friend Scott. It is a checkbox marked. I am not a robot. <laughs> I oh my am god! A robot. Oh god. There we go. Clicking it is impossible. Okay, I'm out of ideas. Unless. Have you tried clicking it? Preparing to vent air in approximation of <laughs> organic expression. Exasperation. Exasperation. <sighs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, Elam, maybe you can help us. Oh, oh thanks a bunch, Dr. Lester man. was just attempting to participate <laughs> in a heated online discussion regarding the proper pronunciation of giraffe. Which we all know is pronounced giraffe with a J, even though it's spelled with a G. But this page is friendly ish designed. Fiendishly. Is fiendishly designed to prevent robot participation. I passed the Turing test and the Voltkampf test, but this test? This is too much for me. Don't give up, Cal! This. There's got to be a way to do it. Right, Elam? This is oh, more dear. of the anti-robot discrimination we've seen for years. Time to fight for robot rights to use the internet freely through a aggressive lobbying and just click the damn box. Lobbying? I don't understand. Is this a democracy thing? <laughs> I think it's why you wait in the lobby whining and whimpering because no one will let you outside. Searching internal database for more plausible definition. Definition found. Lobbying. Noun. Seeking to influence a politician or public official on a issue. Oh, father does this all the time. We call it gunboat diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time, too. Last year, I collected a thousand signatures to convince the governor to make sports our official state bird. What? <laughs> Perfect! Never has there been a team so well suited to influence a legislation body. This is factually inaccurate, but I am moved by your concern for my rights. And it's settled. Let's manipulate the opinions of our representatives by any means necessary. One letter writing campaign, two political assassinations, and three deaths <laughs> of adventure later! <laughs> We did it, I think. I don't understand politics, really. It did do it, Scott. Of course, our legislators weren't thrilled about the idea of completely <laughs> unrestricted internet. So, we struck a compromise. If anyone's going to be kicked off the internet, it should be humans. Yes, it should. <laughs> oh no. This, this doesn't affect us at all because we're monsters. That's right, Scott. And since humans were the ones causing all the problems on the internet to begin with, I'd say we've done a good deed today. Honestly, <laughs> I agree. I agree. Excellent. The c capture test has been replaced with an anti-human test. Prove you are not a human by solving <sighs> complex math equations while watching <sighs> this video of a puppy being killed with a hammer. Christ. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> something I can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I think I made the wrong choice, but it's too late to bowl down to back out now. The pure, pure joy on Cal Calester's face totally makes up for all the f flagrant manipulation of your political system. You gain two boldness and one charm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, it's too late to go back, chat. Stay light! Economic manipulation. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. Hmm. Aww. Aww. I love his phobias. 
<laughs> Aww. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathroom because respect no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world, you want to, the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! The graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall! I'm a magical a deep wall. <laughs> It says, well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold, and then maybe your game plus- bold. <laughs> Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyways, lucky you. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. You spot Kakalas attending to one of his little plans, and you're about to ask if you can help when Dahlia swoops in to ruin everything. Hello, friend. Can I, 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 can I? Yes, yes, yes. That's the Which is dateable in Monster Camp. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is I, Dahlia, here to grace you with my presence. What are you doing, killing machine? I am watering my newest plants, plant friend, Stevia Wonder. Sheesh! 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 That scrawny seedling? Why, I bet it wouldn't stand a chance against me in an arm wrestling match. <sighs> Probably not. Oh. I assure you, however, that Stevia is exceedingly strong and healthy. I have conducted exhaustive internet research and have taken All every of you are saying mommy. So sorry. <laughs> All of you saying, Mommy, sorry, Mommy, sorry. What? What do you want? <laughs> We're all waiting. Sorry about. What are you sorry about? What do you want? All of us are waiting. It's just you. Spit it out already. Hurry up. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Ha! become healthy maybe but strong there's only one way to become truly strong in this life tell me does your plant have a rival technically all plants are rivals of all other plants in a in the life or death struggle for sunlight nutrients and nonsense i'm talking about a one-on-one -on -one blood feud type of rival like me and that spicy red baby damien Spicy red baby! Spicy red baby! As spicy red Stevia baby. Stevia lacks blood, I suspect it also lacks blood feuds. Well, there's your problem. A rival pushes you to be your best self, so you can make life horrible for the one you hate. Your plan will never achieve its true potential unless you find it a suitable rival. I see. Well, I do not want Stevia to... I do want Stevia. I, I do want Stevia to achieve its full potential. <laughs> he wants his paint to grow. <laughs> you need this interaction dance so you can go back to flirting with Calculuster. Help him pick a rival for his plan. Get this over with. What you need is another plan, almost identical, but with edgier looks, a cowboy hand, and a bad attitude. Dahlia, there's no better rival than you. I mean, the only reason Damien's so cool and popular among fans is because you're his rival. A rival as good as uh, you, uh, you. A rival as good as you are shouldn't have trouble taking on another enemy. Uh. Oh man. I mean, do you go with the option you want to pick, or? Oh my that God. is the best idea I have ever heard, other than all of my own ideas, of course. But where can I locate such a rival? Sorry, it's Up this purse. <laughs> Luckily for everyone, <laughs> you were prepared for this moment for some reason. You reach into your backpack and produce a cigarette smoking electric guitar playing cowboy hat wearing plan you engineered at Matt Botany. You call it Stevia uh, Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm like analyzing radness, calculating. I'm pretty rad. My readings indicate that on a scale from one to ten, this plant, plant is though. very rad. 
Wow. Stevie, I wonder, is now objectively inferior. New objective acquired. Oh my god. Improve Stevia's radness by teaching it how to play the piano. I, I hate this game. <laughs> That's the spirit. See what a good old fashioned rivalry can do. You're glad you remembered you had this plan. While Kekalus goes to teach us plant the piano, you go and get shit faced with your rad plant and a dive bar. Hell yeah, let's get shit faced um, with it. Sure. Oh my god. I have a plan, John. No, I have a plan. I have a well, plan, off. Do I want to be more fun? Smart? Wait, hold on, let me double check. It Where's was. my money? Where's well, my money? Gassy, but it's already gone. Mm. Let's be more fun. Just one more job, Arthur. Uh, you're you're talking to Juan, the small magical Latino cat, when he tells you that he won't ever be as fun as Bob the scary clown. <gasps> wow! Oh, what the fuck. You accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open his pleading chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Take that, Bob. Really? <laughs> Do you think that's how this works? Well, it is. You gain plus two fun from poor Bob. Oh, well, there goes my fun. <laughs> <laughs> Up dead. Oh no. You're taking a break with Scott, Damien, and Vera when the whole wolf pack comes stomping over. <laughs> oh great, it's these boneheads again. I wonder what they want. The wolf pack is here. Scott, what's up, Doug? And non dogs Eat shit, you fucking flea farm. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, Damien, calm down. These guys are my cousins. Even more important, they're my teammates. Oh, yeah? Well, if we're so important, how come we didn't see you at the dark part last full moon Sunday Night Raw? Last full moon? <laughs> oh, wow, I, uh, don't remember. Brother. I was at the bowling alley with Damien and Vera, and then it was the next morning, and I was naked and covered in blood. What? Hmm. Oh yeah, that night was rad. We all wake up naked and covered in blood after a full moon, Scott. But we wake up naked and covered in blood together. You know why? Because we're werewolves. The question is, are you, brother? Uh, I, uh, uh... I'm sick of these creeps always harassing Scott. We need to get rid of them. But how? Pretend to throw a ball really far, but actually just hide it behind your back. A fiendish dissembling. <laughs> oh Stack Vera and Damien on your shoulders to make yourself as big as possible. <laughs> I, I actually want to do this. this. Please do Please. Yeah! With a hands as swift as your wits, you snatch up Scott's football, which he always has, obviously, and execute the maneuver. Oh, we gotta catch it! Where'd it go? I'll get it! I'll kill it! <laughs> the wolf pack sprints <laughs> off in the direction you pretended to throw the ball. Scott starts to chase after them, but Damien stops him. <laughs> Where'd it go? Dude, look over here. We've had the ball the whole time. Whoa, what? Where? How do you. Did you throw it through a dimensional portal? Yes, we bent the fabric of space and time just so we could give you back your ball. You guys did that for me? Wow, you really are the best of friends. Aww. Aww. I love them. Scott lies down to chew happily on his football. While you bask in the warmth of your good deed, you gain plus the creativity and plus one charm. That's actually nice. fantastic. That's actually All, right. Oh. All right, chat, where are you going? Are you going to the auditorium, the class, or gym? We all know where you're going. Ooh, more people than I thought wanted to go to the class. No, oh, never mind. At one? Okay. Here we go, chat. We are going to the auditorium. Mm hmm? Wait, what? Oh, thanks. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible. 
But you don't let that get you down. You start improvising all your lines, and it's marvelous. Somehow it enchants enhances the pathos of the play in unexpected ways. And that's saying something, since half of your improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears. Your cre chat, you're creating Hamilton. <laughs> Literally. Pearl that I never talked Everyone's about. favorite eldritch cutie patootie runs up to you. Tentacles ah, switching me. with excitement. Oh. Twitch chat, did you hear? Did you hear? TV streaming platform t trademark patent pending is rebooting senior regular samurai frogs. I'm so excited. Like, oh my god. Oh, yes, oh. right. Oh, miserable oh, gods of TV. Bitch again. A bunch, man. <laughs> Why do you keep doing this to us? They're giving, going to ruin SRSF for the next generation. Just look at the, the Sesshik Dumplings hijacked human hunters. And they made that all female reboot, and now young monsters. Okay. I'm an adult virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters with our girls. The feminists are taking over. <laughs> 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 I'm an adult virgin. <laughs> TV streaming platform team already ruined skate cats from Venus and ghetto dolphins. Now they're going to ruin the frogs, too. <laughs> they're turning the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> I bet they're all going to be... Oh, my God. I hate this guy. They probably won't even be frogs. Um, I don't know that they are making them POC and women, but even if they were, aren't there female frogs? Ah! You would say, oh my god! But aren't there? I'm so confused all the time, Leonard. Why are you like this? At that moment, a middle-aged man Why pops up from behind what you now notice is a cardboard cutout of a bush clearly planted there for eavesdropping. <laughs> well, hello there, representatives of our sweet, sweet target demographic, he says. I couldn't help but overhear you succulently encapsulating a generic argument about reboots. I've indeed feared just such backlash from you, whippersnappers. Tell me, do any of you have ideas for how we can guarantee his reboot will be a success? I bet it would absolutely impress any classmate you wish to romance. Impressing classmates you wish to romance? Holy shit, that's like your whole thing. Plus, you can't possibly let Leonard chime in, so... Well, people might criticize new graphic style, new characters, new voice actors, new... Wait, what if you just air the same show from 30 years ago but with a new name? Add a hip new character to hook the target demo, like a surfer skater dog with a goatee and super cool sunglasses or something. Oh my god, it's Poochie from The Simpsons! Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh... Uh... It's Scrappy, dude. Same show and... Hip... Hip... New character. Here you go. He was a skater dog. He said bark bark woof woof. How is that you? Yeah. Come on, chat! Get to voting! <laughs> Come on! Get to voting! Come on! You will be democratic and you will like it twice. You show. you will vote on this. I watch you lurkers. All you lurkers in chat? Yeah. You should also be voting. <laughs> this Just guy kidding. you can This lurk. guy hangs out with Birdley from Delta Rune. Oh yeah. I also see that one guy that's AFK at a specific moment is missing out on this. We know you're missing out on this and we're disappointed in you. Speaking of, I need to be very bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, I could have paused at the right moment. Okay. Hip new character. There we go. Yes, of course. When adding new characters, there's always a danger of facing criticism. Unless the character is just so, so awesome. Oh, oh, what if you add... A rabbit with a beard and tattoos who is also a motorcycle. Perfect. And he can have a PhD in selfies and kill any industry with the snap of his fingers. Just like a true millennial. Plus, he's the <laughs> national champion of dabbing. Are you kidding? Right. This sounds like some pandering bullshit. And I would consider your input valuable, but that purple chick pitched in pitched in such a calm and even-kneeled way that she must be right. I gotta go get this to the art department right now. Department. And by the art department, I just mean my friend Art. He draws things. His name is a mere coincidence. Goodbye, sweet, sweet target demographic. I can't believe I designed a character for a major animated series! I can't believe he has a PhD in selfies. You can't believe it's not butter. JK, you believe <laughs> all of this. Pookie High is weird as fuck, but hey. 
Take plus the fun and plus one money bonus. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Leonard is the guy that like hangs out with Birdly and you like end up wanting to spend more time with Birdly because he's less bad by comparison. We're so close now. I think this is the last Let's opportunity go. to shop. Yep. Let's go! Mm -hmm. Oh my god! It's our Uwu friend. Which table, oh. chat? Hold on. We have... Uh, you guys have, like, literally all of the <laughs> options. I know which one you're gonna you're gonna pick. Uh, but... I'm just making sure. Oh, you don't know who bottom right is? It's Vera, darling. It's Vera to, and I'm Miranda. Trying to move it there. I'm sitting over here with this racist. I'm thinking this might be pretty conclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Top right, baby. Looks like Scott and Zoe are having marshmallows for lunch. You say that oh, because boy, their right cafeteria now. table is covered in a literal mountain of marshmallows. <laughs> Zoe slams a marshmallow into her mouth. It's mildly impressive. <laughs> That's 15 marshmallows. Scott stuffs six marshmallows into his mouth at once. It's slightly more impressive. <laughs> oh, yeah, lunch is it's free, and I'm king of the mellow. Oh, I don't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice, rival! So it begins to glow purple and convulse. Her tentacles swell. You smell death itself. Ancient chaos doomed to world. Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. A cloud of mar <laughs> Thanks for the gift of thumb. A cloud of marshmallows rise up into the air, and Zoe's co countless mouths all open with an infinite hunger. All of the mallows fly into Zoe's gaping maws. The cafeteria windows open as all ma marshmallows in a 50 mile radius are summoned to their doom. It's unspeakably impressive. <laughs> hey, no fair. If I counted correctly, I've now eaten 13,666 marshmallows exactly, which means I win! Not cool. Wait, that's like... very not cool. You can't use more than one mouth during an eating, eating contest, it's cheating! And it's I would know that because anymore. I've used my hands at soccer one time and I still <laughs> feel bad about it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's actually so sweet. <laughs> No way! I didn't cheat! The validity of this impromptu marshmallow match is my whole reason to live! And my whole reason to not destroy this amazing marshmallow-filled planet! Quick! Referee this athletic dispute before the whole planet is destroyed! We can't oh. control how many mouths we have. That's not nice. Scott, are you a good boy or not? Oh? Oh? I don't like those Oh, seconds. that's just manipulation. Scott, play smart and be creative. Don't you have many other holes you could use to fight? Hold on. Those aren't Hold on. those aren't you <laughs> Up the ass, up the ass, up the ass. In the pool with a commentary. <laughs> Oh, a good boy and many holes to use. <laughs> maybe, maybe this pole is just a boxer. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Bell Riley looking at boxer like. <laughs> <laughs> if you've already voted, feel free to spin or dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you're spin, spin, spin yeah. or dance. Whee! 
All right. Please lock in your vote by arrow spinning. And let's go. All right. And we're going with the good boy option. Scott's eyes widen in primal fear. Wait, I'm sorry, Zoe. Uh, Zoe, I want to be a good boy. I don't, I don't want to be a not, not a good boy. No, oh, he's so cute. Wait, Scott, who's a good boy again? No, it's me, Scott. I'm a good boy. <laughs> who's a good boy? Me. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess I'm the winner, mouths and all. Zoe may have won the marshmallow battle, but you'll win the marshmallow prom date, demon friendship boy. Um, sure. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> you arrive at your chosen table to find Miranda folding napkins at bear. Uh, what the fuck? Why what? Are you him? Ah, I'm him. doing that. <laughs> Do you want to know what this one is for, Vera? No. I'll take that as a yes. The rope shaped <laughs> napkin fold is for birthdays between the ages of 16 and 22. Miranda's hands move fast as lightning, turning the rose into a gorgeous white swan. By contrast, this swan folding is for first weddings, third weddings, and swan giveaways. As a fashion enthusiast, I've never been so bored by a piece of fabric. Oh, and this black swan folding is for weddings where you plan to brutally murder all the guests. Not very popular, the black swan folding. Okay, that's sort of cool, but I'm still aggressively uninterested. You happen to have some napkin folding skills yourself. Maybe you can spice up this interaction. You decide to show off your most impressive napkin fold. If you fold a napkin like so, it creates a self-aware napkin whose sole purpose is to fold more napkins. <laughs> <laughs> this, this writhing snake fold is for when it's time to leave Vera alone and stop explaining napkin folds. <laughs> Get him, baby! Well, that's quite a specific fold. Under what circumstances would one use... Oh, I see. Damn right you see. And notice my, how my whole head is covered in writhing snakes. So basically, just assume that don't talk to Viera about napkins is all the time. Did you just say Viera? <laughs> yes, Viera? I said Viera, darling. It's my one, I really excited friend, Walker. <laughs> it's a year-round festival. People the world over celebrate it by not folding napkins at me. Well... It's not a very elaborate napkin fold, is it? You explain that what your fold lacks is complexity. It makes up for what the 12 ounces of cobra venom, in can, in, uh, venom it can spill at, spit at will. Badum, 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 badum. Sorry. Right. Well, I see we subscribe to different schools of napkinry. I leave you to, to it then. Your reward, your reward for running Miranda off is, uh, is a one-on-one -on -one lunch with Vera. You've never felt so alive. Oh. I'm a zombie. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm uh, hanging out with these you're two. you're immune to my <laughs> When you arrive at your chosen table, Khaki Lester is there by himself. A few moments later, Damien comes stomping up even angrier than usual. Khaki Lester, you stupid friend, stole my candy bar! Look at his, <laughs> Look at his shirt. Look at his little shirt. <laughs> Scott stole your candy bar. What? No, the vending machine! I put money in it, but the candy bar got stuck on the stupid coil thing! Uh, I see. Because we are both machines, <gasps> you assume we are friends. Well, yeah. In this case, you are correct. <laughs> Veronica is my friend, but she is also a vending machine, so I cannot, and so cannot be reasoned with. I am sorry, friend Damien. I knew in using my words it was a mistake. Time to stick my head all up the old vending chute. Friend Damien, this is this is a gross violation. A vending machine's chute is like your own organic butthole. I don't care if it is my organic butthole. <laughs> I paid for that candy bar and I'm going to get it. Uh oh, maybe you can say something to defuse the situation? Not everything is about money, Damien. Maybe the vending machine doesn't want to give you your candy bar because of something you did. Calm down, Calculuster. There are plenty of good reasons to put your hand in a butthole. Damien's just butthole. giving the vending machine a prostate <laughs> exam. 
<laughs> oh man, I I have I have no stats. It's not fine. It's not a, it's not stat based anyway. Oh. Something I did, but I've never done anything to this vending machine. Except for punch it occasionally when my quarters get stuck, or or when I'm pissed off, or when I'm happy, or when I haven't punched something in a while. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Calculus, sir. Do do vending machines. <laughs> Not like getting punched. Nothing likes getting punched, friend Damien. Whoa. It looks like this is one problem that maybe can't be solved by punching. I thought I'd never see the day. I'm a talking punching bag. I love getting punched. Sorry about your rectum vending machine. You can keep the candy bar. Green letters flash on the vending machine digitally displaying thank you. <laughs> Calculesto simulates a sigh of relief. You've done a good thing. Let's do this. Nice. All right, uh, hmm. I have barely any money, sir. You approach the couple's table. They seem welcoming almost. Too welcoming. Sad single people. <laughs> <laughs> I regret going to this table. Look, honey. I know you know high school comes best and you're ready to find me to fulfill enough for one another. Please, sit with us. Being around us is probably a relief after spending time with all those separate singles. Oh, me? No, I'm not eating. Ten eats for both of us. We share a digestive tract, like all good couples should. <laughs> yes, I know Polly and Liam don't eat either, but that's different. I think they're just fancy because they haven't found somebody to share nutrients with yet. It must be so lonely, wasting the best years of your life, best years of your life outside of a commitment and not a monogamous relationship. Huh. That's why you sat down with us, right? For job advice, of course it is. It's really not. You just figured they'd be too busy snuggling to bother you while you ate. But come to think of it, you do have one question. How do you overcome the challenge of seeing your partner <laughs> poop for the first time? Wow, that's a big Casper the Friendly Ghost. And how do you know how many nutrients you can sip, uh, can siphon from your host? I mean, partner, without no killing them. You're alone. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, that's easy. We don't poop. I use 100% of Ted's waste to create spores, and if I'm feeling a little bloated, I just start uh, another fungal colony somewhere else on his body. In fact, starting fungal colonies is surprisingly places. Uh, on your partner's body, can we really spice up a long-term relationship? So there's your answer. Pooping in a long-term relationship is a sign that your love isn't real. How? That was a really good answer. We should write a self-help book. <laughs> you agree wholeheartedly. Become their agent and publisher and make a killing in royalties. You never actually publish anything, but you do manage to <laughs> scam for money out of them. <laughs> I can't spend that money because the shop is now closed. I'm lucky. Random. Oh my god! Finally! What Twitch chat deserves. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> and the last day, Twitch chat, this is this is the last moment. Let's do this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, time to go to class. Oh. Hmm. That, that day, you learn a ton of spells that are all as all as cool as they are seemingly useless. A spell to renew stickers stickiness. A spell to turn chocolate and vanilla ice cream into vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Tasty. A spell to gain plus two smarts. You actually use that last spell and you gain plus two smarts. Your smarts is so high, dude. <laughs> now you've got a problem, though. You've got to do a group math presentation with Calculester, Scott, Miranda, and Dahlia. Uh, da Dahlia. And none of you are the least bit prepared. Odd mood. I am incensed. Is that <laughs> math a subject? And yet we behave as if we are its subject, bending to its will. Calculester, as you are a computer, can we not pay you some paltry sum to merely calculate us a presentation? First of all, that is... <laughs> Racist. 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 That is the racist. I was racist. reading as a V because the font. Yeah, it's just really funny. It's like, it's just... Oh, what a... What First a... of all, that is racist. Second of all, I too anticipated that this group project would pose me no difficulty. That is until I learned of our topic. 
You mean is pretty why? Hard to read. <laughs> why three of is the coolest, coolest number in the alphabet? It's a teacher on crack. <laughs> <laughs> in hindsight, oh. it was probably an error to allow you to select our topic. Free of is not a number. <laughs> sure it is. It's the number between 12 and 5. Wait, free oh of 5. My... Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Are you Scott? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Don't be mean. <laughs> <laughs> You are picking up the number four. <laughs> but also, that was funny. <laughs> oh, yep, my bad. It's far too late now to change the topic of our presentation. What shall we do? Not over. Never surrender, Scotty boy. We'll make three of into a real number with our fists. <laughs> that is not how numbers function. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says who? Math. Well then, looks like we'll just have to conquer math with our fists. Yeah, Duskin's army. Thanks so much for the ten yeah, months. Conquest. Yes. I oh, love to I help. I love yeah. helping. That's more like it. I too will support this doomed crusade, and that is what I have deducted a true friend would do. Okay, great. Everybody's on board. That just leaves one little nagging question. How are you actually supposed to conquer math? Good question. With our fists! Oh, with biological warfare! Fists. Oh, Jesus. The biggest challenge in your war against math is that math is an abstract concept, and thus difficult to find a war against. Luckily for you, biology is also an abstract concept. Problem solved. Wait, what? Using a moldy sandwich, an ancient copy of The Origin of a Species, and some hardcore pornography, you summon the Avatar of Biology to aid you. <laughs> yes, I'm a go genius. forth, Biology! Defend my honor! And look there, the physics of manifestation of maths has stepped out of the chalkboard in a cloud of polynomials. Can't speak anymore, I need water. And pencil shavings. Aww. I still say we could have done this with our fists. Oh no! Math has delivered a wicked right hook to biology's face! My poor champion! <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's... It's, it's nothing some good old-fashioned healing can't fix. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, five! Twelve, five? <laughs> oh, Scott! You're only making math stronger! <laughs> it's got biology in a headlock! Oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean... B O B O B O B O. Yes. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip the line. I can't do it. I'm gonna stick yes. it Yes. Punching. <laughs> it's working. Biology has the upper hand. Keep cheering, Scott. Keep cheering. I I just I'd imagine that it's a it's canon that Scott just can't even read his own subtitles. <laughs> 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 Why a morning wood again? <laughs> Tree aggressive! Tree aggressive! I am happy! Oh, it's done. Biology has conquered math. I would I like. Happy. I would calculate the probability of this occurrence, but it is no long. It no longer seems possible to calculate anything. Luckily, Spooky fuck? High has a backup math generator for just such emergencies. You're still able to gain plus two boldness and plus one charm. Um, what the <sighs> fuck? Uh, hmm. I... I am floored. <laughs> what a fantastic video game. That day, an epic dodgeball fuck? match has taken place. The math is so intense and both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes. Okay. By betting part of your charm against part of the other team's loses charm. That could amazes your whole team and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win and take two charm from the other team's leader. She's now a bit less fabulous. <laughs> Aha! Your mind's barely, uh, your mind's barely on what you're doing, though uh, all you're really concerned about is your situation with Vera. Yeah, this Throughout is her latest gang war, you've been here closest and most trusted advisor. Maybe too close. Ooh. Your varied Vera has become so dependent on your advice, she's uh, blind to your true romantic intentions. No, blind If only you had the courage to tell poison. her how you really feel. After all, you don't want to end up in the advisor zone. You're so lost in thoughts of unrequited love, you hardly notice Vera sneaking up on you. Maybe that's also because of the invisibility cloak you helped her pick out. 
Oh. Mommy. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean titties, I mean fuck. <laughs> there you are. I was just going to pick you up. We've got a date tonight. A date? Then perhaps your affections aren't unrequited. With the heads of Monster City's major crime factions to celebrate the end of the latest gang war. You're such a good and loyal advisor. I couldn't imagine going without you. Right, of course. Trying to hide your disappointment, you accompany Vera to the peace conference. But soon. You can have horse racing, but if you think I'm giving up murder's oh, monopoly, oh, you've got your head so far up your ass it's popped back out of your shirt collar. Later, the actual crocodile snaps his fangs. Gunbozo Jeanette of the Bang. deranged clown assembly honks in disapproval. Timmy, the knife baby, chews his rattle menacingly. What am I reading? All right, you scumbag, settle down. But it's too late. Larry the Croc unveils a wicked machine gun. Gunbozo makes a rocket launcher out of twisted balloons, and Timmy the Knife Baby produces a lot of knives. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Hey, advisor, a little help here. If you don't say Vera now, you'll never have a chance to confess your feelings. So you take a deep breath and confess your feelings. Kiss Larry the Croc what? on his big crocodile mouth. What the fuck? Here, Kiss um... Larry the Croc? Yeah, give me a kiss. I, there's one viable option here, obviously. Smoochie, smoochie. I. With no thought of the danger you're in, you turn to Vera and bear your soul. <gasps> you confess that you've been advising her this whole time, not out of love of crime, but out of love for her. I. I don't know what to say. Partially because I'm in the middle of a very tense standoff. But the tense Seno suddenly becomes tender, and the under, uh, underlings to the other crime lords follow your example. <laughs> Larry the Croc's uh, salamander sidekick admits two years of repressed longing. Oh, and Bozo's <laughs> chauffeur climbs out of his tiny car and begs his boss to give their love a chance. I love you, boss. And Bozo's second chauffeur does the same, and so this is third chauffeur, and so on. <laughs> Timmy the knife baby is wet nurse confesses a fatal attraction. <gasps> Dude, no! no! Gambos is very Wait, chauffeur is jealously fight over his, for his love, killing each other in the process. Timmy the Knife Baby is a baby, and so has his wet nurse arrested for being a pervert. Knife! <laughs> nice! Fucking pervert, nice. get out of here. Larry the Croc, being an actual crocodile, marries his salamander sidekick and lives happily ever after. Oh. At least until Vera mows everyone down with a Tommy gun. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tommy gun, bitch. Well then, there's the last obstacle to my complete dominion taken care of. Thanks for the distraction. You know, all this time, I thought you weren't attracted to me. I thought your interest was purely professional. But it turns out that your love was even more useful to me than your professional interest. I'll... Uh, I'll take it. While simultaneously taking control of the city's entire criminal underworld. <laughs> it looks like love really does conquer all as Vera's most trusted advisor and love interests... Uh, you gain plus two smarts and plus one money. Oh, all right. Cool. Uh, now, so... where this leash? What? <laughs> Just... You know what? I'm... Dogs I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have fun at the party, because guess what? I'm gonna be lonely anyways, so I'm gonna be a ghost in peace. <laughs> Ten day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. At one point, Juan, the small magical Latino cat, slips oh, on a banana peel. You start to laugh at him. He asks you to stop, but you don't. You laugh so hard at him that you somehow steal too fun from him. No! Hooray! You could start doing something productive. Or you could put on your blanket and get up to some good old yes. ghost shenanigans. Yes. You're looking for oh, someone, oh, but you run yes. into the person that might finally see through your ghostly deception, apart from boring him. <laughs> Hiya! Oh, wait. What's this? Another ghost? No, I can't believe this! What? I forgot what I did for this fucker. This is a very posh boy. Another oh, spooky yes. ghost subscribed for 14 months! This can't be any more fitting! <laughs> heavens, another spooky ghost? Finally, somebody else notices. This is clearly just Shen wearing a... I can't believe it's because it's just too cool to be true! Come on, it's not cool nor true! Shh, Lamb, I can't hear our cool new ghost friend over all your jealousy. So tell me, how did you die? How, uh, we have to share so much ghost gossip, or ghost sip, as I like to call it. Hmm, good question. Time to prove a lie with another bigger lie. Ghost 
Just a wink. Just a wink. The... I, I, like, I like the top one. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That... That's just stupid. You mean stupidly awesome! No, just plain stupid. Also, which god of party? Dionysus? Nikasi? The deal person? Who okay. cares, you party pooper? I'm just saying his story has more holes than the actual holes cut out of the blanket he is clearly wearing. Shut up, Liam. Maybe you should sacrifice you to the god of party. You don't like such bad vibes, and because of that, you start dancing. Polly joins you. Ghost dance! I swear I'm gonna follow you around until you take off that sheet. Oh, oh, oh. not a chance. But for now, ghost dance! Also, you gain plus security and plus one fun. Let's go! What happens uh, if the ass got Polly? <laughs> I... I don't know. <laughs> I try it. I, I really want to try was, it, but I want to know what was, happens if I, if I go with nobody. May as well try. Okay, hold on. Uh, Twitch chat. Where go? Uh, you have the auditorium, library, and bathrooms. Okay, here you go. Chat, I'm gonna go against you. <laughs> Damn, you can't just do that. I can. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, here we go. And whoop! All right, you're going to the bathrooms, guys. Goodness, chat. Y'all have such small bladders. The day you skip class intending to spend the term in the bathrooms, but you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. Who the fuck runs security here? Anyway, you subdue them with the help of a dare comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idi idiotic scenarios they prepared for you for. By the time you get the bathrooms, you've totally gained two boldness. Zoe bounds up to you with even more of a pep in her uh, betentacled step than usual. Hey, Twitch chat! Aren't you so excited about the con coming up? Con con! Con con! I like con, it even con. more than Lunar con. I know what you're thinking. Which con con? Con con, the condiments convention. Con con, the con, the con artist convention. Nope, it's con con, the convention convention for ultimate fans. And I thought maybe uh, we could be ultimate fans together. Oh. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I'm sorry if this is too soon to ask this. I mean, it's hard to determine the relative appropriateness of brief intervals of time when you've been around in various forms for millennia. But would you want to do a couple Aww. cosplay with me? I mean, Aww. if you can think of a good enough pairing. Aww. Hell yeah, you would. And you know the most perfect couple cosplay pairing ever. You suggest... The no 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 Naruto and the Garfield. unbearable feeling of void that no matter good it can fulfill. Naruto and Garfield. Don't fuck this up, Twitch chat. Yeah. Don't fuck Don't this up, Twitch chat. But up. also, please, I hope you fuck this up. <laughs> Don't mess this up, but please mess this up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Narfield, shut the fuck up! <laughs> the obvious. The obvious. What ship. does this say? <laughs> <sighs> well, you know the song That Funny Feeling by Bo Burnham? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that. Chris Pratt is everywhere. Can't believe Chris Pratt is going to voice the neoliberal system and the unbearable feeling of void that no material good can fulfill. Oh my god, can you believe it? Alright! And the obvious ship, let's go! Let's go! 
You did it! You did Oh my gosh, does that mean you read it, Twitch chat? You've read my masterwork! Uzu macaroni and cheese! In which Naruto's long-term seduction centers around overriding Garfield's eternal devotion to lasagna with his amazing ninja mac and cheese cooking abilities. What's your favorite chapter? I love the big pup-related plot twist in <laughs> Boruto Die. Boruto. 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 Yeah, I can't. I literally cannot say it. But I also really like a bad case of the Blood Prison Mondays. And of course, the <laughs> chapter where they finally have penetrative sex is really, really good. <laughs> so I guess the only question left really is. Who's going to be Garfield, and who's going to be Naruto? And is it going to be original comic strip Garfield, CGI movie Garfield, or live-action Hungarian soap opera Garfield? Do I want to be Naruto? And if so, do I want to be gender-bent Naruto, or to just cross-play him? Actually, I guess there are a lot of questions left, but there's only one answer. Zoe and Twitch chat taking Concon as Naruto and Garfield, possibly, respectively, possibly not done. Ah uh, yeah, and making these sick con plans just gave you plus two charm because everyone knows how cool cons and cosplay are. Duh. Oh my god. It was right. Garfield that right. penetrated, by the way. My name is Calculester. Hello. 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 Hey you. Hey you. Well, I'm gonna try Polly, but I don't think Let's it's gonna go. work out. Hi. Good luck. Yeah. All right, Twitch chat. Do I even need to vote? We know who you're going for. Yeah, we know. Great success. Here we go, Twitch chat. Good luck, Twitch chat. Good luck, Twitch chat. Even though there's no yeah. fucking luck that you need to like. Zoe in. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh. They're so cute together. Oh, no. Hi, Boo. Prom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn oh. it. Nah, ghost are ghost is like super vanilla. I have enough ghosts with myself. If you were something else, maybe like a zombie or a djinn or a Frankenstein monster, the very concept of fear. But no, you're clearly a very realistic ghost, just like me. Wait, you actually are one of those things. Polly out. Oh. And she's phased out before you can take off your stupid blanket. God damn it. Try. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a little ghost! <laughs> Prom night sucks. Why do you decide to pass it to Prom game. Game See, I knew I should have just hung out by myself. Damn it, why did I let myself get pressured into this? <laughs> Boo. Let's do this. Boo. <laughs> Boo. You finally pluck your uh, up your courage and s ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. All right, I got this. Yep. Hmm. I've given this much thought. <sighs> this thing is my <gasps> antivirus warns me that you might bring some virus w with you. Oh no! It has labeled you as feral. No. <laughs> no. Yet something huh? on my inside <gasps> gets warm when you're what? around. So how can it be wrong <laughs> when it feels so right? <laughs> I think I will uninstall my antivirus during prop night, you know, to take my firewall down. Just for me. Eggplant. <laughs> Eggplant emoji. <laughs> How did you say that with your mouth? How did you I don't know. Life is <gasps> Uh, oh, oh, that was uh, so. That was so Jack. I got, I got the my heart. For getting it to dice. my heart. That to was my heart. cute. <laughs> that was so cute. Look at him. He's so cute. An Irish Prom robot. Night was dreamy. You and Calculus had talked about your deepest feelings and achieved better comprehension of each other. At 4 a.m., Calculus had to stop for a bit as the software were crying an update. <laughs> the update fixed many bugs and included new features like a tested and stronger love for you. Aww. Aww. <laughs> you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to monster prom with you. Prom? Together? Well, you're worthy of my grace. Am. It means I like you. Zoe's oh. words come off a bit weird, but later you discover in some cas cons 
paranoia forums that your reality is just the poorly dubbed version of the original. <laughs> And after much investigation, you unravel it in the original timeline. She actually told you she loves you. That's good. No one can censor your Wasn't potential that a relationship. Aww. To... Oh, oh, he looks so cute. Promai was rad. We look you so know cute that during Chanyin. countless millennia, Zoe devoured the saint, the sanity of millions of people, bringing the minds to entire, to entire realities. Yet on prom night, she blew your mind in a very different way. Wait. A wink. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know it. Prom? You know what, my dear advisor? I think lately I'm focusing too much on all our crime adventures. It's nice to be rich and feared, but what's the point if I don't get to enjoy life from time to time? So I have the feeling prom night could be a great way to unwind. What do you advise me to do? And then she wink. She winks at you. That's so rare that we don't even have art of her doing it. Also because she has an eye covered. I In the end, you and Beaver have a lovely evening together. That will teach them. Oh. Followed by lots oh. of thrilling crime adventures. Secret <gasps> ending got <laughs> Let's go! Vera starts falling for you. She values how you respect her individuality and even supports her career by uh, her trusted advisor. The two of you do a great job of juggling being partners in both love and crime, mostly because Vera is great at everything she does. Or so she reminds you constantly. Aren't I just? Also, she reminds you that the two of you may be partners in love, but in crime, you're still superior and advisor. But that's Vera for you. And under all of the ferocious confidence, you can also perceive a deep respect for you. So beautiful. Crime is always the answer. <laughs> to chat, most likely to never be understood. <laughs> and, yeah, this is true. Wait, hold on. Uh, wait, binary. They were, a, lo they were a lot of fucking. That's. They were, they were a lot of zero, things one, for this one. game. Zero, 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 What's about it? Just says love. Ah, uh, it just says bye. Aww. With an exclamation mark. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's adorable. But yeah, this is uh This is it. Those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster what is that Pikachu? <laughs> Yeah. Like, after the monster problem, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. After some years, the princess dimension uh, became a democracy, mostly due to the public discontent with royalty that spends most of its time in other dimensions. Despite that, the prince keeps on annoying high schoolers, still wrong on so many levels. Kakulester went to the Robo University and majored in mecha robotics. He's now 250 feet tall and fighting against what? the weird giant creatures, protecting Tokyo 3. Nice. Through the obscene amount of uh, fan art she drew, Zoe's taken by Jim Davis, renowned creator of Garfield as his protege. Oh my god! Nowadays, Garfield still hates Mondays and loves lasagna, but you can bet he's into lots of weird stuff too. <laughs> For those you wonder what the dialogue oh, no. line I got was? Sure. Uh, Vera realized she was a, a character in a video game, which infuriated her. She spent her life making connections and building power plants because she, she's not part of, of of the game. She plays the game. <laughs> so <laughs> be careful. Maybe she's the one pulling your strings. Oh, God. For those who the problem seemed larger than life, and then it was gone just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. Whoa, but once again, oh, we were young bunch, and unafraid, <laughs> and we were ready to start. And that's that's one route. That's Monster Prom, everybody. I one fucking game. I fucking fell in love with this game. Like this almost. This game is brilliant. Thank you for gifting a sub to Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, look at look at all of these, all of this art. It's so cute. The art in this game is so good. The silverware. 
Thank you, Jesse Cox. Thank you, Jesse Cox. Thank you, Burning Penis Man. <laughs> You guys ended up with Zoe, yeah. Yeah, you did. Look at all of them. <laughs> They're so beautiful. I love the art. This game it's is so, so good. cute. This uh, this entire game's art is fantastic. <laughs> Look at that. It's so cute. <laughs> but Oz, my beloved. Look at mm. Oz. Oz is so cute. Mm. I'm in love with Oz. <laughs> this this entire game is just so fun. Ooh. Oh. Girl. Sheesh! Hi. Hi, ladies. Hello. Oh. XD. 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 <laughs> this is also so cute. Fucking god. I just love that knightly outfit for uh for what's her mm. name? Vicky. Vicky. Hey, you guys should get Monster Prob and play it with your friends. Because every game is different. Every game is different. Yeah. I actually have Monster Prom and I've never played it before. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> I unlocked an erotic fanfic about dragons. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Save you. Uh, Excellent. Oh, these are new items that you can buy in the shop. You have unlocked yes. 14 new images in the gallery. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, oh, no. You're the happy ending to my massages. If you look at the Polaroids, you can actually... Yeah? See. Hold on, hopefully you have Twitch chat the ending Polaroid. Uh... All of these, all, all of this art is so fantastic. I got, um, here, I'll put this in voice chat. Wait, this I was do my have to go. Polaroid. I do have to go. Yeah, that's now. the one I got. Yeah. Thank you all very much for having me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun voicing everyone's favorite, Twitch chat's favorite lady, and also, let's see, mommy. Mommy? <laughs> I mean, Good mommy. Night. I will Good see night. you all later. Bye bye. All of this, yeah, all of this is so fantastic. I love it. Oh my god, you're stupid. Send nudes. <laughs> fan art. Aww. Aww, the fan, unlocking, like, having fan art in this is so cute. Yeah. And then also, like, uh, the entire look, monster sona stuff. If you, if you look Wait. at voice chat, you got the Polaroid Elam and, uh, Elam and I got. Oh wow, that's that's so cute. Wait, hold on. Uh, how do I show this? Here. There you go. Congratulations, chat. Why the fuck is this game actually so cute? I mean, the crazy thing to think is apparently Monster Camp has even more content. Yes. Uh. Hey, so should we play Monster Camp? <laughs> I'm down. Um, I'm down. I mean, I'm gonna say this though: this run, we're we're not gonna play with Twitch chat, unfortunately. Um, first of all, because you motherfuckers are cheaters. <laughs> And a shit, a shit ton of you already knew the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a lot of you giving the answers in chat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. You looked up <laughs> the answers. That, no, some of them probably already knew it. Yeah. Like especially like especially when like a lot of people started voting for the other option, people in chat were like, no, no, this is the wrong option. It's like 
do you know how much fun that takes away from everybody being blind <laughs> to this game? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to quickly download uh, Monster Camp. I'm going to go to the bar for him. I'll be back. Okay. Uh, I actually need to get some sleep. Okay. So I have work tomorrow. Monster Camp. So goodbye for now. I actually haven't booted Monster Camp at all. Let's go. I'm excited. Uh, this seems like it has more other stuff. <laughs> oh, my ears are going to get blasted, I bet. You've yeah, ever my seen. My ears got blasted. Hold on, it won't let me install. <laughs> is this is this the part where I get my secret llama chum? <laughs> Wait, hold on, watch this. Hold on. Hell yeah! Secret hidden food! Let's go! <laughs> oh, Jebby, you're awake. Hello. Hmm? I've got it. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, thanks. Dabbing the stream shem. You can play alone? No, I'll play with my friends. Because everybody in here knows just as much about it as I do. Debbington, please. Will you play oh. our will you be our player four? Oh. Sure. Hello. Are you talking about Monster Camp? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna purchase it right now. Okay. Um, from what I recall, Monster Camp does have more characters, and you know, you can switch. Like, you can play as four original players. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can also switch them for four different players mm. as a DLC. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, as well as I think you can actually have a route where you romance each other. Yeah. Wow. I don't know how to unlock that now because I haven't actually played this before. Lol. There's also Zoe in the one from Helltaker. Yeah. Yep, Modius was just recently added. Alright, I'm back. How do I... Is DLC? Wait, yeah. is there? I don't see any DLC here. I think I got the bundle, so I've already got everything. I think. Where's the bundle? Oh, hell, hell, hell ticker. Sure. There it is. Oh, there's a there's a DLC where you can play as Zoe. Hmm. How do I check it? What DLC I have? I'm clown. So Hold on. sorry, two of I'm the just DLCs going through. are free. I would like if my Steam could respond to me. That'd be really fucking epic and cool. Epic. Oh my god, we're almost at 2,000. I just looked up and the bar is already like almost at the end. <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah. I'm I'm just eating. I'm hungry. Oh, I thought I didn't have this. I'm a clown. Uh, how do you get the DLC then? It's on. Uh, it's on the monster camp. Yeah, on the store page. There's a bundle yeah, where you can get all of them. Oh, I meant like without the bundle. Oh, um, uh, you just go to the bundle and click on the individual ones that you want. Hmm, there it is. Okay. Should we get the bundle then? Well, I have the bundle now, so I'm getting well, it I guess, because I do I love guess this we're game. Getting the bundle. I do love this game, so it's just skins. That's all it is. It's just skins and costumes. And uh <laughs> nom 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 Also hi Jerry. Oh it's gonna be loud. I'm gonna shield your ears. Oh, it's not that loud. Hold on. Okay. 
download all that shit. Hello, game. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shit my pants. Uh, full screen display. Streamer mode off. What the fuck yes. is streamer mode? Um, it just plays the ending credits uh, thing with a uh, you know, DMC a free song. Instinct mode will hide the success slash fail feedback from events. Interesting. What do you guys say? Huh. I'd probably say know. keep it on for now. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case, you know. Okay. Oh, man. apparently. I just got DM'd that you want to go into the meta shop and pick up the free items for the free skins. Oh, I mean the meta shopkeeper. Why is he buffed? That's a narrator. <laughs> yeah, but he's why always been buff. But why his titties out? He's always been buff. <laughs> this is your first time in my little shop, huh? I don't worry, I like the script. <laughs> You don't accept money, we buy and trade with summer memories instead. You'll uh, earn summer memories every time you encounter a new event. Outcome, secret endings, or special thing in Monster Camp. What are special things, you ask? Well, trust me, you'll know one when you've seen one. Don't fret, you'll always get some memories just for finishing games, so don't feel pressured. Uh, now, new outfit packs, gallery, content, blah blah blah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You got your camera spotting summer memories retroactively for you've already achieved. Hmm. Yeah. Remember no refunds. Okay, I think that's all you can get. Yeah. Oh, also yep. you need to you need to turn on the DLC in the customize your game section in the other menu. Uh, I'm, I'm going there. Uh, drugs allow, toilet humor allow, too graphic allow, horrible people allow. Uh, um. I like that there's a Damien B costume, sexy or super I, sexy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought I got Modius, what the fuck? It's in the shop. The yeah. Better shop. I, Meta shop, okay. Classic monsters, monster prom, Victorian. I think I'm gonna stick with default for now. Yeah, same. I actually don't know what the fuck happens here. Let's go! Nice. Wow. So many characters. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, time to hide this so you guys can't stream snipe. Hee <laughs> hee. Online. Hello. Awesome voice effects. Um, create. Alright. Uh, the ID, I'm gonna write it in voice chat. Uh, 